gusting to 21 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.75 and falling. Elsewhere around the area, Hutchinson was 83 and partly sunny. Winds were south with gusts to 22. Wichita was 82 and mostly sunny. Concordia was 80 and partly sunny. Emporia was 73 and cloudy. Winds were southeast with gusts to 25. Topeka was 68 and cloudy. Kansas City was 69 and partly sunny. Platt was 83 and mostly sunny. Dodge City was 85 and mostly sunny. Winds were south with gusts to 24. Ponca City was 84 and mostly sunny. Winds were south with gusts to 22. Goodland was 86 and partly sunny. Denver was 84 and partly sunny. Once again at 5 p.m., Great Bend was 82 and mostly sunny. The current time is 6.01 p.m. Central Daylight Time. An area of showers and thunderstorms was moving out of far eastern Kansas as of late this afternoon. Mostly sunny skies were observed across the remainder of central and eastern Kansas behind this departing area of rain. Late afternoon temperatures varied from the upper 60s in far northeastern Kansas to the lower 80s in central and southeast Kansas. A front will remain nearly stationary from west to east across Nebraska and Iowa tonight through Sunday. This front will provide a focus for thunderstorms. Another complex or two of thunderstorms is expected to develop over the central high plains and should move southeastward across Kansas into Missouri overnight into Sunday. A few strong to severe storms with gusty winds and hail will be possible. Otherwise temperatures are forecast to be near seasonal normals. Lows tonight will be in the mid to upper 50s over the central high plains and in the lower 60s elsewhere. Highs Sunday will be in the lower 80s over eastern portions of the heartland to the lower 90s over the high plains. This hazardous weather outlook is for portions of central Kansas, south central Kansas and southeast Kansas. For tonight, thunderstorms are expected to redevelop over northwest Kansas late this afternoon. This activity will move southeast affecting mainly central and south central Kansas late this evening and overnight. The main impacts from these nighttime storms will be peat to dime size hail, wind gusts of 40 to 60 miles per hour, and locally heavy rainfall. For Sunday through Friday, the active weather pattern looks to continue with additional chances for showers and thunderstorms almost every night from Sunday night through Thursday night. Some of the storms could reach strong to severe levels with hail up to quarter size and damaging winds up to 65 miles per hour. In addition, the active weather pattern could cause some minor flooding problems to occur due to several rounds of heavy rainfall. Spotter activation is not anticipated tonight. Here is your National Weather Service forecast. Tonight partly cloudy early in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Southeast winds 5 to 15 miles an hour. Chance of precipitation 50%. Sunday partly sunny with a 20% chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Sunday night mostly cloudy with a 30% chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. South winds 5 to 15 miles an hour, becoming southwest 5 to 10 miles an hour after midnight. Monday mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the lower 80s. Northeast winds 5 to 15 miles an hour. Monday night partly cloudy with a slight chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then mostly cloudy with showers likely and a chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. East winds 5 to 15 miles an hour. Chance of rain 50%. Tuesday mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming mostly sunny with a 40% chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of thunderstorms. Lows around 60. Wednesday mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then mostly sunny in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers after midnight. 
Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. A chance of showers in the morning, then a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of rain 20%. Thursday night mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of rain 50%. Friday, partly sunny with a 20%. Severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Oxford County in western Maine, northwestern Cumberland County in southwestern Maine, northeastern Carroll County in northern New Hampshire. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm <coughs> watch remains. Good evening, everyone. This is Mark Davis, MDWeather.com. It's our first uh, severe thunderstorm warning of this stream. The National Weather Service in Gray, Maine, has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Oxford County and in western Maine, northwestern Cumberland, in southwestern Maine, northeastern Carroll County, and northern New Hampshire until 7:45 Eastern Daylight Time. At 7.05 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Freeburg, moving northeast at 25 miles per hour, hazards, 60 mile per hour winds, and quarter size hail. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Oxford in western Maine, northwestern Cumberland County in southwestern Maine, and northeastern Carroll County in northern New Hampshire until 7.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Central Keith County in southwestern Nebraska, south central Garden County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, eastern Dual County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, until 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 4.58 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located in miles northwest of Bar While we're at it, just want to go over, uh, we do have a severe thunderstorm watch for right now. There's a severe thunderstorm watch for portions of central and eastern Nebraska expected this Saturday afternoon from 5.15 p.m. until midnight, central daylight time. Primary threats include scattered large hail and isolated very large hail events up to 2 inches in diameter likely. Scattered damaging wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour possible. Severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska. Southeastern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska. Southeastern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.07 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles southwest of Brady, or 18 miles north of Curtis, moving southeast at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 2-inch hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Brady, Moorefield, and Jeffrey Canyon State Wildlife Management Area. This includes Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 197 and 205. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, and Lincoln. The severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Lincoln County will expire at 6.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The storms which prompted the warning remain severe but have moved out of the warned area. Therefore, this warning will be allowed to expire and a new warning has been issued. 
A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. Lincoln. After we had that uh, acknowledgement of the severe thunderstorm warning, we do have another one in Maine. Uh, let's get that up on the screen here. South Central Garden County in the Panhandle. Okay, the National Weather Service in Caribou, Maine, has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Somerset County in West Central Maine until 7.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 7.07 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 18 miles south of Billy Jack Depot or 26 miles north of Jackman, moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. Hazard, quarter-size hail. Repeating, the National Weather Service in Caribou, Maine, has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Somerset County in West Central Maine until 7.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Windows and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Big Springs, Barton, Golden Eye State Wildlife Management Area, and McGeese. This includes Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 94 and 111. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Frontier County. Severe thunderstorm warning for Southeastern Custer County in Central Nebraska. Until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.07 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles southwest of Brady, or 18 miles north of Curtis, moving southeast at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 2-inch hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, windows. Okay, we have another severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Custer County in central Nebraska until 7.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.11 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Ainsley, or 15 miles southeast of Broken Bow, moving southeast at 15 miles per hour. Hazards include 60 mile per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Custer County in central Nebraska until 7.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Logan County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for central Nebraska. The severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Lincoln County will expire at 6.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The storms which prompted the warning remain severe but have moved out of the warned area. Therefore, this warning will be allowed to expire and a new warning has been issued. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 307, effective until midnight central daylight time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Keith County in southwestern Nebraska, South Central Garden County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, Eastern Dual County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, until 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. 
At 4.58 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 9 miles northwest of Barton, or 11 miles northwest of Big Springs, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Big Springs, Barton, Golden Eye State Wildlife Management Area, and McGee's. This includes Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 94 and 111. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska, southeastern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska, until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.07 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles southwest of Brady, or 18 miles north of Curtis, moving southeast at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 2-inch hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Brady, Moore Field, and Jeffrey Canyon State Wildlife Management Area. This includes Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 197 and 205. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. The severe thunderstorm warning for Northeastern Logan County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for central Nebraska. The severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Lincoln County will expire at 6.15 p.m. central daylight time. The storms which prompted the warning remain severe but have moved out of the warned area. Therefore, this warning will be allowed to expire and a new warning has been issued. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 307, effective until midnight central daylight time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons... Severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Dawson County in south-central Nebraska. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier. Okay, here we go, another severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in North Platte, Nebraska has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.18 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm warning was located over Stockville, or 12 miles southeast of Curtis, moving northeast at 15 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 mile per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. 
at 6.18 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Stocksville, or 12 miles southeast of Curtis, moving northeast at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. This is impact. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Stockville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The severe thunderstorm warning for Northeastern Logan. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for West Central Keys, South Central Garden and Eastern Duke Counties. At 5.20 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Big Springs, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. This is impact. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Big Springs, Golden Eye State Wildlife Management Area in McGeese. This includes Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 105 and 111. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. The severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Logan County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for central Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for West Central Keys, South Central Garden and Eastern Duke Counties. At 5.20 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Big Springs, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. This is impact. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Big Springs, Golden Eye State Wildlife Management Area in McKees. This includes Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 105 and 111. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 307, effective until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan, Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska, southeastern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska, until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.07 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles southwest of Brady, or 18 miles north of Curtis, moving southeast at 15 miles per hour. 
Expected hazards include 2-inch hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Brady, Moore Field and Jeffrey Canyon State Wildlife Management Area. This includes Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 197 and 205. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.18 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Stockville, or 12 miles southeast of Curtis, moving northeast at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Stockville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The current time is 6.26 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Logan County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for central Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for west central Keith, south central Garden and eastern Duke counties. At 5.20 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Big Springs, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Big Springs, Golden Eye State Wildlife Management Area in McGeese. This includes Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 105 and 111. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following county. Keith, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 307, effective until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska, southeastern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska, until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.07 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles southwest of Brady, or 18 miles north of Curtis, moving southeast at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 2-inch hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. 
impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Brady, Moore Field, and Jeffrey Canyon State Wildlife Management Area. This includes Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 197 and 205. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, and Lincoln. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.18 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Stockville, or 12 miles southeast of Curtis, moving northeast at 15 miles. Severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Kennebec County in South Central Maine, East Central Oxford County in Western Maine, North Central Androscoggin County in Southwestern Maine, South Central Franklin County in Western Maine. Locations impacted include Stockville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The following is a special weather statement for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of South Central Frontier County through 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Okay, we have another severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Gray, Maine has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Kennebec County and South Central Maine, East Central Oxford County and Western Maine, North Central Androscoggin County and Southwestern Maine, South Central Franklin County in Western Maine until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time, I'm sorry, Eastern Daylight Time. At 7.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm located near Dixfield or 7 miles south of Rumford, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Hazards include 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Kennebuck County in South Central Maine, East Central Oxford County in Western Maine, North Central Andrew Scoggin County in southwestern Maine, South Central Franklin County in western Maine until 8.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Logan County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for Central Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for West Central Keith, South Central Garden, and Eastern Dual Counties. At 5.20 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Big Springs, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Big Springs, Golden Eye State Wildlife Management Area, and McGeese. This includes Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 105 and 111. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 307, effective until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan, Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. 
While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska, southeastern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska, until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.07 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles southwest of Brady, or 18 miles north of Curtis, moving southeast at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 2-inch hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Brady, Moore Field, and Jeffrey Canyon State Wildlife Management Area. This includes Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 197 and 205. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Severe thunderstorm warning for Northwestern Dodge County in East Central Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm warning for Northwestern Keith County in Southwestern Nebraska, Southern Garden County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, Northeastern Duell County in the Panhandle of Nebraska. Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Keith County in southwestern Nebraska, southern Garden County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, northeastern Dual County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, until 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 5.36 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 6 miles west of Oshkosh to 10 miles northeast of Chapel, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Oshkosh, Llewellyn, Ash Hollow State Historical Park, Eagle Gulch Campground, Ruffin, Belmar, Clear Creek State Wildlife Management Area, Intersection of Highway 27 and Nine Mile Road, Blue Water Battlefield State Historical Park, Otter Creek Campground, Windless Hill and Lakeview Campground. This includes Highway 92 between mile markers 115 and 128. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.18 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Stocksville, or 12 miles southeast of Curtis, moving northeast at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Stockville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. 
Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Keith County in southwestern Nebraska, southern Garden County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, northeastern Gould County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, until 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Keith County in southwestern Nebraska, southern Garden County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, northeastern Duell County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, until 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 5.36 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 6 miles west of Oshkosh to 10 miles northeast. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Severe thunderstorm warning for Northwestern Buffalo County in South Central Nebraska, Southwestern Sherman County in Central Nebraska, Northeastern Dawson County in South Central Nebraska. Northwestern Keith County in southwestern Nebraska, southern Garden County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, northeastern Duell County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, until 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 5.36 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Colfax County in northeastern Nebraska, southwestern Dodge County in east-central Nebraska, northeastern Butler County in east-central Nebraska, Northwestern Saunders County in East Central Nebraska. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Okay, we got two severe thunderstorm warnings to go over here in Nebraska. For Frontier County the National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for County southeastern Colfax, Nebraska. southwestern Dodge, northeastern Butler and northwestern Sanders counties in East Central Nebraska until 7.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.43 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Linwood, or 14 miles northeast of David City, moving southeast at 15 miles per hour. Hazards, ping-pong-sized hail and 60-mile-per-hour wind gusts. 
Friday at 6.43 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 10 miles north of Moorfield to 7 miles east of Stockville to 7 miles northwest of Bartley, moving southeast at 20... Okay, now for another uh, severe thunderstorm warning for Nebraska. National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Frontier County and southeastern Lincoln County in southern southwestern Nebraska until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.43 p.m., a severe thunderstorm located along a line extending from 10 miles north of Moorfield to 7 miles east of Stockdale, Stockville, I'm sorry, 7 miles northwest of Bartley, moving southeast at 20 miles per hour. Hazards, ping pong size hail, and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Repeating, the National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Frontier and southeastern Lincoln counties in southwestern Nebraska until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, and Lincoln. The severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Frontier and southeastern Lincoln counties will expire at 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The storm which prompted the warning remains severe but has moved out of the area. Therefore, this warning will be allowed to expire and a new warning has been issued. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. The severe thunderstorm warning for Central Frontier County will expire at 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning remains severe but has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, this warning will be allowed to expire and a new warning has been issued. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Keith County in southwestern Nebraska, southern Garden County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, northeastern Duell County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, until 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 5.36 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 6 miles west of Oshkosh to 10 miles northeast of Chapel, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Oshkosh, Llewellyn, Ash Hollow State Historical Park, Eagle Gulch Campground, Ruffin, Belmar, Clear Creek State Wildlife Management Area, intersection of Highway 27 and Nine Mile Road, Blue Water Battlefield State Historical Park, Otter Creek Campground, Windless Hill and Lakeview Campground. This includes Highway 92 between mile markers 115 and 128. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. The current time is 6.48 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska, southeastern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska, until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.43 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 10 miles north of Moorfield to 7 miles east of Stockville to 7 miles northwest of Bartley, moving southeast at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. 
Locations impacted include Curtis, Eustis, Moorfield, Stockville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, Hanson Memorial Reserve State Wildlife Management Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. Severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Custer County in Central Nebraska. South Central Garden and Eastern Duke Counties. At 5.20 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Big Springs, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Okay, we got another severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Custer County in central Nebraska until 7.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.50 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Broken Bow, moving southeast at 15 miles per hour. Hazards with this storm, 60 mile per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Custer County in central Nebraska until 7.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Until 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. The current time is 6.51 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Frontier and Southeastern Lincoln Counties will expire at 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The storm which prompted the warning remains severe but has moved out of the area. Therefore, this warning will be allowed to expire and a new warning has been issued. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for Southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. The severe thunderstorm warning for Central Frontier County will expire at 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The severe thunderstorm which prompt a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for Northwestern Keith, Southern Garden and Northeastern Duke Counties. At 5.51 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from Oshkosh to 10 miles southwest of Llewellyn, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Oshkosh, Llewellyn, Ash Hollow State Historical Park, Eagle Gulch Campground, Ruffin, Belmar, Clear Creek State Wildlife Management Area, intersection of Highway 27 and Nine Mile Road, Blue Water Battlefield State Historical Park, Otter Creek Campground, Windless Hill and Lakeview Campground. This includes Highway Good evening. Uh, even though it is no longer affecting the United States, I do have an update for uh, potential tropical cyclone one. It's immediate advisory number nine A. Flooding rains and strong winds continue over portions of the north western Bahamas. Summary as of eight PM Eastern Daylight Time. Information. Location twenty eight point three north, seventy eight point nine west, about hundred and five miles of Fort Pierce, Florida or about 8, 885 miles west-southwest of Bermuda. Maximum sustained winds, 45 miles per hour. Present movement northeast at 18 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure is 999 millibars. First time it's been under 1,000 millibars, so it is doing some strengthening at this time. Have another update later on with this. We're just going to keep an eye on it for people who live in the Bahamas. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs. The severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Keith, South Central Garden and Eastern Duke Counties will expire at 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened and moved out of the area. 
Therefore, the warning will be allowed to expire. However, small hail is still possible with this thunderstorm. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight mountain daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska, southeastern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska, until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Cumming County in northeastern Nebraska, northeastern Colfax County in northeastern Nebraska, northwestern Dodge County in east central Nebraska, southeastern Stanton County in northeastern Nebraska. Size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Curtis, Eustis, Moorfield, Starkville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, Hanson Memorial Reserve State Wildlife Management Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for Northwestern Keith, Southern Garden and Northeastern Duke Counties. At 5.51 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from Oshkosh to 10 miles southwest of Llewellyn, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Okay, here we go. Another severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Cumming County in northeastern Nebraska, northeastern Colfax County in northeastern Nebraska, northwestern Dodge County in east central Nebraska, and southeastern Stanton County in northeastern Nebraska until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.54 p.m. Day Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 6 miles northeast of Clarkson, or 18 miles west of West Point, moving southeast at 15 miles an hour. Hazards, ping pong, ping pong ball size hail, and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Cumming County in northeastern Nebraska, Northeastern Colfax County in northeastern Nebraska, Northwestern Dodge County in east central Nebraska, and Southeastern Stanton County in northeastern Nebraska until 7:45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. 15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following county: Keith, Nebraska. The severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Keith, South Central Garden, and Eastern Duke Counties will expire at 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened and moved out of the area. Therefore, the warning will be allowed to expire. However, small hail is still possible with this thunderstorm. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight mountain daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. 
Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska, southeastern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska, until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.43 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 10 miles north of Moorfield to 7 miles east of Stockville to 7 miles northwest of Bartley, moving southeast at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Curtis, Eustis, Moorfield, Stockville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, Hanson Memorial Reserve State Wildlife Management Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, and Lincoln. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for northwestern Keith, southern Garden, and northeastern Dual Counties. At 5.51 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from Oshkosh to 10 miles southwest of Llewellyn, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Oshkosh, Llewellyn, Ash Hollow State Historical Park, Eagle Gulch Campground, Ruffin, Belmar, Clear Creek State Wildlife Management Area. Severe thunderstorm warning for Northeastern Hamilton County in South Central Nebraska, Central Merritt County in Central Nebraska, Southern Polk County in East Central Nebraska. Highway 92 between mile markers 115 and 128. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. The severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Keith, South Central Garden and Eastern Dual Counties will expire at 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. The storm which prompted the warning... Okay, we have another severe thunderstorm warning for Nebraska. National Weather Service Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Hamilton, central Merrick, and southern Polk counties in east central Nebraska until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.01 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Clarks to near Archer, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Hazard, quarter size hail. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Hamilton, central Merrick, and southern Polk counties in east central Nebraska until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. This service is provided by the Nebraska Educational Telecommunication Commission, serving southwest and west central Nebraska. The North Platte Climate Summary for this evening, as of 5 p.m., June 4, 2022. Today's high temperature was 89 degrees and a low 52 degrees. No precip A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for Frontier and Southeastern Lincoln Counties. At 7.03 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 6 miles north of Moorfield to 8 miles northeast of Medicine Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area to near Bartley, moving southeast at 20 miles per hour. 
Expected hazards include ping pong ball size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Curtis, Eustis, Moorfield, Stocksville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, Hanson Memorial Reserve State Wildlife Management Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for Northwestern Keith, Southeastern Garden and Northeastern Dual Counties. At 6.04 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Oshkosh to 8 miles south of Llewellyn, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Oshkosh, Llewellyn, Ash Hollow State Historical Park, Eagle Gulch Campground, Ruffin, Belmar, Clear Creek State Wildlife Management Area, intersection of Highway 27 and Nine Mile Road, Blue Water Battlefield State Historical Park, Otter Creek Campground, Windless Hill and Lakeview Campground. This includes Highway 92 between mile markers 115 and 128. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. The following is a special weather statement for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of central Keith County through 6.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 6.01 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Brule, or 8 miles west of Ogallala, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Ogallala, Brule, Keystone, Roscoe, Kingsley Dam and Lakeview Campground. This includes the following highways, Highway 61 between mile markers 83 and 103, Highway 92 between mile markers 133 and 138, Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 114 and 134. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. The storm may intensify, so be certain to monitor local radio stations and available television stations for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight mountain daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for Frontier and Southeast. The severe thunderstorm warning for Northwestern Keith, Southeastern Garden and Northeastern Dual Counties will expire at 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. The storms which prompted the warning have weakened below severe limits and no longer pose an immediate threat to life or property. Therefore, the warning will be allowed to expire. However, hail is still possible with these thunderstorms. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight mountain daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for Frontier and Southeastern Lincoln Counties. 
At 7.03 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 6 miles north of Moorfield to 8 miles northeast of Medicine Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area to near Bartley, moving southeast at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Curtis, Eustis, Moorfield, Stocksville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, Hanson Memorial Reserve State Wildlife Management Area, Orofino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. The severe thunderstorm warning for Northwestern Keith, Southeastern Garden and Northeastern Dual Counties will expire at 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. The storms which prompted the warning have weakened below severe limits and no longer pose an immediate threat to life or property. Therefore, the warning will be allowed to expire. However, hail is still possible with these thunderstorms. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight mountain daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The following is a special weather statement for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of central Keith County through 6.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 6.01 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppel radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Brule, or 8 miles west of Ogallala, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Ogallala, Brule, Keystone, Roscoe, Kingsley Dam and Lakeview Campground. This includes the following highways, Highway 61 between mile markers 83 and 103, Highway 92 between mile markers 133 and 138, Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 114 and 134. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. The storm may intensify, so be certain to monitor local radio stations and available television stations for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska.
A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for Frontier and Southeastern Lincoln Counties. At 7.03 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 6 miles north of Moorfield to 8 miles northeast of Medicine Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area to near Bartley, moving southeast at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Curtis, Eustis, Moorfield, Stocksville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, Hanson Memorial Reserve State Wildlife Management Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. The severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Keith, southeastern Garden and northeastern Dual Counties will expire at 6.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. The storms which prompted the warning have weakened below severe limits and no longer pose an immediate threat to life or property. Therefore, the warning will be allowed to expire. However, hail is still possible with these thunderstorms. The severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Lincoln County is canceled. The storms which prompted the warning have moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for Frontier County. At 7.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Moorfield to Medicine Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Curtis, Eustis, Moorfield, Stocksville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for Frontier County. At 7.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Moorfield to Medicine Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Curtis, Eustis, Moorfield, Stocksville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins.
remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The current time is 7.19 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln, and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The following is a special weather statement for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of central Keith County through 6.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 6.01 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Brule, or 8 miles west of Ogallala, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Ogallala, Brule, Keystone, Roscoe, Kingsley Dam and Lakeview Campground. This includes the following highways, Highway 61 between mile markers 83 and 103, Highway 92 between mile markers 133 and 138, Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 114 and 134. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. The storm may intensify, so be certain to monitor local radio stations and available television stations for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. The current time is 7.21 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Lincoln County is canceled. The storms which prompted the warning have moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. central daylight time for Frontier County. At 7.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Moorfield to Medicine Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Curtis, Eustis, Moorfield, Stockville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, or Orofino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch 
means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The following is a special weather statement for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of central Keith County through 6.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Custer County in central Nebraska. Moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact gusty winds could knock down trillions and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Ogallala, Brule, Keystone, Roscoe, Kingsley Dam, and Lakeview Campground. This includes the following highways, Highway 61 between mile markers 83 and 103, Highway 92 between mile markers 133 and 138, Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 114 and 134. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. Consider seeking the storm inside a Good evening, we've got a new severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Custer County and central Nebraska until 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.24 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms located along a line extending from 8 miles west of Arcadia to 9 miles southwest of Berwyn, moving southeast at 20 miles per hour. Hazards, golf ball size hail and 60 mile per hour winds. Beating the National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Custer County and central Nebraska until 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for Frontier County. At 7.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Moorfield to Medicine Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Curtis, Eustis, Moorfield, Stockville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, Orofino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings.
Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln, and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The following is a special weather statement for the following county, Keith, Nebraska. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of central Keith County through 6.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 6.01 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppel Radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Brule, or 8 miles west of Ogallala, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Ogallala, Brule, Keystone, Roscoe, Kingsley Dam and Lakeview Campground. This includes the following highways, Highway 61 between mile markers 83 and 103, Highway 92 between mile markers 133 and 138, Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 114 and 134. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. The storm may intensify, so be certain to monitor local radio stations and available television stations for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight mountain daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. The severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Lincoln County is canceled. The storms which prompted the warning have moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. central daylight time for Frontier County. At 7.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located... Severe thunderstorm warning for Eastern Red Willow County in southwestern Nebraska. ...moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs. We have a new severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Goodland has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Red Willow County in southwestern Nebraska until 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.31 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Indolia, or 12 miles east of McCook, and is nearly stationary. Hazard, 60 mile per hour wind gust and half dollar size hail. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Red Willow County in southwestern Nebraska until 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska.
Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Lincoln County is canceled. The storms which prompted the warning have moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for Frontier County. At 7.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Moorfield to Medicine Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Curtis, Eustis, Moorfield, Stockville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the condition are favorable for the development Severe thunderstorm weather. warning for Western Valley County in Central Nebraska. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight. Severe thunderstorm warning for, for southeastern frontier county in southwestern Nebraska. Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch. Okay, here's a severe thunderstorm warning from the National Weather Service in Hastings, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm warning for the Western Valley County in central Nebraska until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.36 p.m., severe thunderstorm was located near Comstock, or 11 miles west of Ord, moving east at 15 miles an hour. Hazard, quarter size hail. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for Western Valley County in central Nebraska until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.36 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Stocksville, or seven miles south of Curtis, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include a tennis ball size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. This is impact. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Stockville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The 
severe thunderstorm warning for Frontier County will expire at 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The storms which prompted the warning remain severe and a new warning has been issued. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.36 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Stockville, or 7 miles south of Curtis, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tennis ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Stockville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The following is a special weather statement for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur and Keith. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of southwestern Arthur and northwestern Keith counties through 7.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 6.34 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Lemoyne, or 15 miles northwest of Ogallala, moving east at 10 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Lemoyne, Keystone, Kingsley Dam, Belmar, McKeague, Otter Creek Campground and Lakeview Campground. This includes the following highways, Highway 61 between mile markers 95 and 116, Highway 92 between mile markers 125 and 138. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. The storm may intensify, so be certain to monitor local radio stations and available television stations for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. The severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Lincoln County is canceled. The storms which prompted the warning have moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. The severe thunderstorm warning for Frontier County will expire at 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The storms which prompted the warning remain severe and a new warning has been issued. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorm warning for Northwestern York County in East Central Nebraska, Northeastern Hamilton County in South Central Nebraska, Central Merrick County in Central Nebraska, Southwestern Polk County in East Central Nebraska. Effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 AM Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, 
Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development hmm. of conditions. Are favorable, including large okay, we have a new severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern York County in east central Nebraska, northeastern Hamilton County in south central Nebraska, central Merrick County in central Nebraska, and southwestern Polk County in east central Nebraska until 8.30 p.m. central daylight time. At 7.43 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Hortville to Central City, moving southeast at 10 miles per hour. Hazard, quarter size hail. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern York County and east central Nebraska, northeastern Hamilton County and south central Nebraska, central Merrick County and central Nebraska, southwestern Polk County and east central Nebraska until 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.36 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Stockville, or seven miles south of Curtis, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tennis ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. This is impact. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Stockville, Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, or Alfino, Freedom and Dancing Leaf Earth Lodge. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The following is a special weather statement for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur and Keith. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of southwestern Arthur and northwestern Keith counties through 7.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 6.34 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Lemoyne, or 15 miles northwest of Ogallala, moving east at 10 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. This is impact. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Lemoyne, Keystone, Kingsley Dam, Delmar, McKeague, Otter Creek Campground, and Lake View Campground. This includes the following highways Highway 61 between mile markers 95 and 116. Highway 92 between mile markers 125 and 138. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. The storm may intensify, so be certain to monitor local radio stations and available television stations for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight mountain daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXL-68, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.55 MHz. This service is provided by the National Weather Service in North Platte, transmitting through tower facilities in Sutherland, Nebraska. This service is provided by the Nebraska Educational Telecommunication Commission, serving southwest and west central Nebraska. The North Platte Climate Summary for this evening, as of 5 p.m., June 4, 2022. Today's high temperature was 89 degrees and a low 52 degrees. No precipitation fell today, which leaves the monthly total at 0.01 inches. The total precipitation for the season since June 1st still stands at 0.01 inches and the total precipitation for the year is still 569 inches. 
The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees, and the normal low is 52. The record high for tomorrow is 97, which last occurred in 1933, and the record low is 36, which occurred in 1998. Sunset tonight is at 9.11 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.11 a.m. The Imperial Climate Summary for this evening, as of 5 p.m., June 4, 2022. Today's high temperature was 85 degrees and the low 50 degrees. No precipitation fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 82 degrees, and the normal low is 54. The record high for tomorrow is 101, which occurred in 2018, and the record low is 39, which occurred in 1998. Sunset tonight is at 8.13 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 5.17 a.m. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather. Severe thunderstorm warning for Central Red Willow County in southwestern Nebraska. Weather may not be imminent. Persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The current time is 7.51 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The following is a special weather statement for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur and Keith. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of southwestern Arthur and northwestern Keith counties through 7.15 p.m. New thunderstorm warning from the National Weather Service in Goodland has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for central Red Willow County in southwestern Nebraska until 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.50 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Zero thunderstorm is located 8 miles southwest of Stockville or 15 miles south of Curtis, moving south at 25 miles per hour. Hazards include golf ball size hail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Repeating severe thunderstorm warning for central Woodville County in southwestern Nebraska until 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Dam, Belmar, McKeague, Otter Creek Campground, and Lakeview Campground. This includes the following highways. Highway 61 between mile markers 95 and 116. Highway 92 between mile markers 125 and 138. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. The storm may intensify, so be certain to monitor local radio stations and available television stations for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. 
Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 83, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity 42%. Winds were from the southeast at 9 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.72 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 81. At Ogallala, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 82, the dew point 50, and the relative humidity 33%. Winds were from the southwest at 9 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.76 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 83. At Chandra, it was sunny. Severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Norton County in northwestern Kansas, northeastern Decatur County in northwestern Kansas, southeastern Red Willow County in southwestern Nebraska. At Imperial, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 80. In McCook, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 89. In Broken Bow, thunder was reported, with a temperature of 72. At O'Neill, it was sunny, with a temperature of 74. In Grand Island, it was partly sunny. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued. The National Weather Service in Goodland has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Norton County in northwestern Kansas, northeastern Decatur County in northwestern Kansas, southeastern Red Willow County in southwestern Nebraska until 8.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.54 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located six miles southeast of Indiana Ola, or 14 miles east of McCook, moving south at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, tennis ball size hail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Norton County in northwestern Kansas, northeastern Decatur County in northwestern Kansas, and southeastern Red Willow County in southwestern Nebraska until 8.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Reported a temperature of 83. Severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Butler County in east central Nebraska. Southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Another severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Butler County in east central Nebraska until 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.56 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Bellwood, or 8 miles southwest, southeast of Colum Columbus, moving southeast at 15 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 mile per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Bell County and east central Nebraska until 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny.
chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning. Then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The following is a special weather statement. For the following counties, in Nebraska, Arthur and Keith, a strong thunderstorm will impact portions of southwestern Arthur and northwestern Keith counties through 7.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 6.34 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppel radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Lemoyne, or 15 miles northwest of Ogallala, moving east at 10 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Lemoyne, Keystone, Kingsley Dam, Belmar, McKeague, Otter Creek Campground and Lakeview Campground. This includes the following highways, Highway 61 between mile markers 95 and 116, Highway 92 between mile markers 125 and 138. Severe thunderstorm warning for Central Colfax County in northeastern Nebraska. So be certain to monitor local radio stations and available television stations for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight mountain daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. The following is a special weather statement for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of northern frontier and south central Lincoln counties through a year and south central daylight time. New severe thunderstorm warning, the National Weather Service in Omaha. Has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Colfax County in northeastern Nebraska till 8:30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe, th severe thunderstorm was located eight miles southeast of Lehigh, or 15 miles northeast of Columbus, moving southeast at 15 miles per hour. Hazards include ping pong ball sa size hail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Repeating severe thunderstorm warning for Central Colfax County in northeastern Nebraska until 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And Hanson Memorial Reserve State Wildlife Management Area. This includes Highway 83 between mile markers 49 and 63. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. The storm may intensify, so be certain to monitor local radio stations and available television stations for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 8.15 p.m. central daylight time for Southern Frontier County. At 8.01 p.m. central daylight time, a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles southwest of Stockville, or 14 miles south of Curtis, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 2-inch hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, Orofino and Freedom. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The following is a special weather statement for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of northern frontier and south-central Lincoln counties through 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. 
At 7.57 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm over Wealth Lake, or 13 miles northwest of Curtis, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down trillions and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Wealth Lake, Maywood and Hanson Memorial Reserve State Wildlife Management Area. This includes Highway 83 between mile markers 49 and 63. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. The storm may intensify, so be certain to monitor local radio stations and available television stations for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. The following is a special weather statement for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur and Keith. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of southeastern Arthur and northeastern Keith counties through 7.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 6.59 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Keystone, or 15 miles northeast of Ogallala, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down trillions and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include, Broganville and Nevins. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. The storm may intensify, so be certain to monitor local radio stations and available television stations for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight mountain daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time for Southern Frontier County. At 8.01 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles southwest of Stocksville, or 14 miles south of Curtis, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 2-inch hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, Orofino and Freedom. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. 
stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The following is a special weather statement for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, and Lincoln. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of northern Frontier and south-central Lincoln counties through 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.57 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm over Wealth Lake, or 13 miles northwest of Curtis, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down trillions and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Wealth Lake, Maywood and Hanson Memorial Reserve State Wildlife Management Area. This includes Highway 83 between mile markers 49 and 63. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. The storm may intensify, so be certain to monitor local radio stations and available television stations for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. The following is a special weather statement for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur and Keith. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of southeastern Arthur and northeastern Keith counties through 7.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 6.59 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Keystone, or 15 miles northeast of Ogallala, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down trillions and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Broganville and Nevins. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. The storm may intensify, so be certain to monitor local radio stations and available television stations for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight mountain daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time for Southern Frontier County. At 8.01 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles southwest of Stockville, or 14 miles south of Curtis, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 2-inch hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Madison Creek Reservoir State Recreation Area, or Alfino and Freedom. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch 
means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The following is a special weather statement for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of northern frontier and south-central Lincoln counties through 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Keith County in southwestern Nebraska, northwestern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Keith County in southwestern Nebraska, northwestern Lincoln County in southwestern Severe Nebraska. thunderstorm warning for south central Valley County in central Nebraska, northeastern Sherman County in central Nebraska, northwestern Howard County in central Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Dawson County in south central Nebraska. Hazards include quarter size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Big Bald Hill. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time or 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Nebraska, Keith, and Lincoln. The severe thunderstorm warning for Southern Frontier County will expire at 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and has exited the warned area. Therefore, the warning will be allowed to expire. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The following is a special weather statement for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of northern Frontier and south central Lincoln counties through 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.57 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Another severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for South Central Valley and Northeastern Sherman and Northwestern Howard counties in Central Nebraska until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. 8 8 14 p.m. Central Daylight Time. A severe thunderstorm was located near Sherman Reservoir Dam or 17 miles south of Ord, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Hazard quarter sized hail. Repeating severe thunderstorm warning for South Central Valley, Northeastern Sherman, and Northwestern Howard counties in Central Nebraska till 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. 49 and 63. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. The storm intensifies. And on to the next one. The NASA Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northeastern Dawson County in South Central Nebraska until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.14 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Eddyville, or 18 miles north of Lexington, moving southeast at 15 miles per hour. Hazard, half dollar size hail. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Dawson County in south central Nebraska until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. will be allowed to expire. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. 
Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln, and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Keith County in southwestern Nebraska, northwestern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska, until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time or 8 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 8.13 p.m. Central Daylight Time or 7.13 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles northwest of Sarban or 21 miles northeast of Ogallala, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Big Bald Hill, for your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time or 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Nebraska, Keith and Lincoln. The following is a special weather statement for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of northern frontier and south-central Lincoln counties through 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.57 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppel radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm over Wealth Lake, or 13 miles northwest of Curtis, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impacted include Wealth Lake, Maywood and Hanson Memorial Reserve State Wildlife Management Area. This includes Highway 83 between mile markers 49 and 63. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. The storm may intensify, so be certain to monitor local radio stations and available television stations for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. The current time is 8.22 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The severe thunderstorm warning for Southern Frontier County will expire at 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and has exited the warned area. Therefore, the warning will be allowed to expire. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins, Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. 
While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln, and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXL68, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.55 MHz. This service is provided by the National Weather Service in North Platte, transmitting through power facilities in Sutherland, Nebraska. This service is provided by the Nebraska Educational Telecommunication Commission, serving southwest and west central Nebraska. The North Platte Climate Summary for this evening, as of 5 p.m., June 4, 2022. Today's high temperature was 89 degrees and a low 52 degrees. No precipitation fell today, which leaves the monthly total at 0.01 inches. The total precipitation for the season since June 1st still stands at 0.01 inches and the total precipitation for the year is still 569 inches. The normal high temperature Severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Thomas County in northwestern Kansas, eastern Sherman County in northwestern Kansas. The record low is 36, which occurred in 1998. Sunset tonight is at 9.11 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.11 a.m. The Imperial Climate Summary for this evening, as of 5 p.m., June 4, 2022. Today's high temperature was 85 degrees and a low 50 degrees. No precipitation fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 82 degrees, and the normal low is 54. The record high for tomorrow is 101, which occurred in 2018, and the record low is 39, which occurred in 1998. Sunset tonight is at 8.13 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 5.17 a.m. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. Severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Butler County in east central Nebraska. Weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska. Frontier, Lincoln, severe thunderstorm warning for West Central York County in East Central Nebraska, Eastern Hamilton County in South Central Nebraska, Central Merrick County in Central Nebraska. Close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The following is a special weather statement for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of northern Frontier and south-central Lincoln counties through 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.57 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm over Wealth Lake, or 13 miles northwest of Curtis, moving east at 15 miles per hour. 
Expected hazards include winds in excess of 40 miles per hour and nickel size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Another severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for West Central York County in East Central Nebraska, Eastern Hamilton County in South Central Nebraska, Central Merrick County in Central Nebraska until 9.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. 8.27 p.m. Severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from Marquette to near Hampton, moving southeast to 10 miles per hour. Hazard. Quarter size hail. Repeating severe thunderstorm warning for West Central York County in East Central Nebraska, Eastern Hamilton County in South Central Nebraska, Central Merrick County in Central Nebraska until 9.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of North Central and Western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 78, the dew point 61, and the relative humidity 55%. Winds were from the southeast at 6 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.72 inches and steady. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 78. At Ogallala, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 75, the dew point 49, and the relative humidity 40%. Winds were from the southwest at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.77 inches and steady. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 80. At Chandron, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 73. In Sydney, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 76. At Valentine, haze was reported, with a temperature of 73. At Imperial, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 82. In McCook, thunder was reported, with a temperature of 84. In Broken Bow, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 66. At O'Neill, it was sunny, with a temperature of 71. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 77. At Norfolk, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 73. At Omaha, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 74. Around the region, at Wichita, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 78. In Denver, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 70. At Cheyenne, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 67. In Rapid City, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 65. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69. Once again, at 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 78. At Ogallala, the temperature was 75. The official National Weather Service forecast for Southwest Nebraska Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, 
partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. Severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Colfax County in northeastern Nebraska, northeastern Butler County in east central Nebraska. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Wednesday, 20 mostly chance of rain showers. New severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a severe thunderstorm warning. For southwestern Colfax County in northeastern Nebraska, northeastern Butler County in east central Nebraska until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.32 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm is located 5 miles northwest of Schuyler or 12 miles east of Columbus, moving south at 15 miles an hour. Hazards include ping pong ball size hail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Repeating severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Colfax County in northeastern Nebraska and northeastern Butler County in east central Nebraska until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Severe thunderstorm watch 308 in effect until 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. Tonight, southwest wind 6 to 10 miles per hour shifting to the southeast 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy in the evening then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Waters a moderate. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. 
stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Keith County in southwestern Nebraska, northwestern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska, until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time or 8 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 8.13 p.m. Central Daylight Time or 7.13 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles northwest of Sarban or 21 miles northeast of Ogallala, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Big Bald Hill, for your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time or 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Nebraska, Keith and Lincoln. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. Severe, severe thunderstorm warning for Western Norton County in northwestern Kansas, Decatur County in northwestern Kansas, southeastern Red Willow County in southwestern Nebraska. Commercial radio and television outlets or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Keith County in southwestern Nebraska, northwestern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska, until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time or 8 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 8.13 p.m. Central Daylight Time or 7.13 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles northwest of Sarban or 21 miles northeast of Ogallala, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Big Bald Hill, for your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time or 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in the for the Keith and Lincoln. Another severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Keith County in southwestern Nebraska in northwestern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time or 8 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 8 13 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles northwest of Sarban or 21 miles northeast of Ogala, moving east at 30 miles per hour. 
Hazard quarter size hail. Repeating severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Keith and northwestern Lincoln counties in southwestern Nebraska until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln, and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather. Severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Sheridan County in north-central Wyoming. While severe weather may not be imminent, severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Niobrara County in east-central Wyoming, northwestern Goshen County in southeastern Wyoming, northern Platte County in southeastern Wyoming, east-central Converse County in east-central Wyoming. Severe thunderstorm warning for southern Greeley County in central Nebraska, southeastern Valley County in central Nebraska, northeastern Sherman County in central Nebraska, northern Howard County in central Nebraska. Alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Okay, we have three new severe thunderstorm warnings. The first one, the National Weather Service in Billings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Sheridan County and north-central Wyoming until 8.45 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. 7.43 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm is located 17 miles east of Sheridan, moving southeast at 20 miles per hour. Hazards include ping-pong ball-sized hail and 60-mile-an-hour wind gusts. Number two, <clears throat> the National Weather Service in Cheyenne has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Raba, Neobrara, County in East Central Wyoming, Northwestern Goshen County in Southeastern Wyoming, Northern Platte County in Southeastern Wyoming, East Central Converse County in East Central Wyoming until 8.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 7.43 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm were located on a longer line setting from 6 miles north of Glendo to near Sibley Park moving east at 20 miles per hour. Hazard 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Sunday for the following counties. In Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln, and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds. In and the last one, National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southern Greeley, southeastern Valley, northeastern Sherman northern Howard counties in central Nebraska until 9.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.44 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Scotia or 16 miles southeast of Ord, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, quarter size hail. Central Nebraska, northeastern Howard County in central Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time for northwestern Lincoln County. At 8.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm is located 7 miles north and of Sutherland. Or the next one, the National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Nance, northwestern Merrick, and northeastern Howard counties in central Nebraska until 9.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.46 p.m., severe thunderstorms are located along a line standing from 8 miles north of Palmer to near Cushing, moving southeast at 15 miles per hour. Hazards, half dollar size hail. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Nance, northwestern Merrick, northeastern Howard, and central ca counties in central Nebraska until 9.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln, and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. 
stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Keith County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9 p.m. central daylight time for northwestern Lincoln County. At 8.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles north of Sutherland, or 19 miles northwest of North Platte, moving southeast at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of northwestern Lincoln County. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The current time is 8.51 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Keith County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9 p.m. central daylight time for northwestern Lincoln County. At 8.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles north of Sutherland, or 19 miles northwest of North Platte, moving southeast at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of northwestern Lincoln County. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 308, effective until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. This watch includes the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. 
While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Dawson County in south central Nebraska. Central daylight time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln, and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm warning. Remember, we have another severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Dawson County and south central Nebraska until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.53 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles southwest of Sumner, or 8, 9 miles northeast of Lexington, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Hazards include ping pong ball size hail. Repeating, the National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Dawson County and south central Nebraska until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Keith County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect. indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of northwestern Lincoln County. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch 
means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Butler County in east central Nebraska. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to New severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Butler County in east central Nebraska until 9.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.57 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Rising City or 10 miles west of David City, moving south at 15 miles per hour. Hazards include ping pong ball size hail and 60 mile per hour winds. Repeating severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Butler County in east central Nebraska until 9.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time for northwestern Lincoln County. At 8.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles north of Sutherland, or 19 miles northwest of North Platte, moving southeast at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of northwestern Lincoln County. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9 p.m. Central. Severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln, and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Okay, we have a new severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.59 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 8 miles northeast of Sutherland or 18 miles northwest of North Platte, moving east at 25 miles an hour. Hazard, half dollar size hail. Repeating severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Lincoln County, southwestern Nebraska, until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.59 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 8 miles northeast of Sutherland, or 18 miles northwest of North Platte, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include half-dollar size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include North Platte, Sutherland, Hershey, Coker, O'Fallon's, and Birdwood. This includes the following highways, Highway 97 between mile markers 1 and 13, Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 157 and 175. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. 
Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. The severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Keith County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Severe thunderstorm warning for Eastern Thomas County in northwestern Kansas. Sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.59 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 8 miles northeast of Sutherland or 8 miles northwest of North Platte. Okay, we have a new severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Goodland, Kansas has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Eastern Thomas County in northwestern Kansas until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.04 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 4 miles east of Colby, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Hazards, 60 mile power wind gust and half dollar size hail. Repeating severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Thomas County and south northwestern Kansas until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. The severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Keith County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln, and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are Severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Buffalo County in South Central Nebraska, East Central Dawson County in South Central Nebraska. Remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. 
stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or radio and television for the latest... New severe thunderstorm warning, severe thunderstorm warnings for West Central Buffalo and East Central Dawson counties in South Central Nebraska until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. 9.07 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm warning was located near Miller or 15 miles northeast of Lexington, moving west at 10 miles an hour. Hazard, quarter size hail. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Buffalo and East Central Dawson counties in South Central Nebraska until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And we have another new severe thunderstorm warning. This one, the National Weather Service in Goodland has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Thomas and southeastern Rawlings counties in northwestern Kansas until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.08 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 30 miles south of Atwood, moving east at 10 miles an hour. Hazard, ping pong size hail. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Thomas and southeastern Rawlings counties in northwestern Kansas until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Nebraska. The severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Keith County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln, and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in North Carolina. Severe thunderstorm warning for West Central York County in East Central Nebraska. Southeastern Hamilton County in South Central Nebraska. At 8.59 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 8 miles northeast of Sutherland, or 18 miles northwest of North Platte, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include half-dollar size hail. This is a New severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for... West Central York and Southeastern Hamilton counties in East and South Central Nebraska until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.11 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Marquette or 20 miles east of Grand Island, moving southeast at 20 miles per hour. Hazard include half dollar size hail. Repeating, the National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for West Central York County in East Central Nebraska in southeastern Hamilton County and south central Nebraska until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Northeastern Keith County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time for southwestern Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains Severe thunderstorm warning for Eastern Polk County in East Central Nebraska. In Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch 
means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including the development of severe winds. A new severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Polk County in east central Nebraska until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.12 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Shelby, or 14 miles south of Columbus, moving southeast at 10 miles per hour. Hazard, quarter size hail. Repeating severe thunderstorm warning for east, eastern Polk County and east central Nebraska until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.59 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 8 miles northeast of Sutherland, or 18 miles northwest of North Platte, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include half-dollar size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include North Platte, Sutherland, Hershey, Coker, O'Fallon, and Birdwood. This includes the following highways, Highway 97 between mile markers 1 and 13, Interstate 80 in Nebraska between mile markers 157 and 175. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. The severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Keith County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln, and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Severe thunderstorm warning for Southwestern Decatur County in northwestern Kansas. Severe thunderstorm warning for Southern Niobrara County in east central Wyoming, northwestern Goshen County in southeastern Wyoming, northeastern Platte County in southeastern Wyoming. Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the thunderstorm watch for the development New severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, the National Weather Service in Goodland has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Decatur County and northwestern Kansas until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located four miles southwest of Oberlin, moving south of 30 miles per hour. Hazards include 70 mile per hour wind gusts and ping pong size hail. The National Weather Service in North Platte has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.59 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located. And then we have this severe thunderstorm warning from the National Weather Service in Cheyenne. They've issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southern Nairobara County in east central Wyoming, northwestern Goshen County in southeastern Wyoming, northeastern Platte County in southeastern Wyoming until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 8.16 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, 
Severe thunderstorms located along a line extending from near Key Line to 12 miles south of Manville, 7 miles east of Two Moon Campground, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Hazards. 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. For your protection, move to an I'm repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for southern Niobrara County in east central Wyoming, northwestern Goshen County in southeastern Wyoming, northeastern Platte County in southeastern Wyoming until 9 p.m. Mountain Time. Northeastern Keith County is canceled. The severe thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. central daylight time for northwestern Lincoln County. At 9.17 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles north of Hershey, or 14 miles northwest of North Platte, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include golf ball-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Locations impacted include Coker. This includes Highway 97 between mile markers 1 and 13. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln, and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The current time is 9.19 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the Tornado Warning for Northeastern Thomas County in Northwestern Kansas. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. We have a tornado warning. The National Weather Service in Goodland has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Thomas County in northwestern Kansas until 9.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.20 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 77 miles north of Gem or 11 miles northeast of Colby, moving southeast at 5 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado and golf ball sized hail. Source, radar indicated. This tornadic thunderstorm will remain mostly over rural areas of northeastern Thomas County. Repeating, the National Weather Service in Goodland has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Thomas County in northwestern Kansas until 9.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include golf ball size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Locations impacted include Coker. This includes Highway 97 between mile markers 1 and 13. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. The current time is 9.21 p.m. Central Daylight Time. 
Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for northwestern Lincoln County. At 9.17 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles north of Hershey, or 14 miles northwest of North Platte, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include golf ball size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expects damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Locations impacted include Coker. This includes Highway 97 between mile markers 1 and 13. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for northwestern Lincoln County. At 9.17 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles north of Hershey, or 14 miles northwest of North Platte, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include golf ball-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expects damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Locations impacted include Coker. This includes Highway 97 between mile markers 1 and 13. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building.
repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert. Severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Thomas County in northwestern Kansas, southern Norton County in northwestern Kansas, Sheridan County in northwestern Kansas, Southeastern Decatur County in northwestern Kansas, Northern Gove County in west central Kansas, Graham County in northwestern Kansas. a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for northwestern Lincoln County. At 9.17 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles north of Hershey, or 14 miles northwest of North Platte, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include golf ball size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Locations impacted include, Coker. This includes Highway 97 between mile markers 1 and 13. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for northwestern Lincoln County. At 9.17 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles north of Hershey, or 14 miles northwest of North Platte, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include golf ball size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Locations impacted include, Coker. This includes Highway 97 between mile markers 1 and 13. 
for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should rem A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for North Central Lincoln County. At 9.31 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 11 miles north of North Platte, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact damage to vehicles is expected. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of North Central Lincoln County. This includes Highway 97 between mile markers 1 and 12. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for North Central Lincoln County. At 9.31 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 11 miles north of North Platte, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact damage to vehicles is expected. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of North Central Lincoln County. This includes Highway 97 between mile markers. Severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Phelps County in South Central Nebraska, Southwestern Buffalo County in South Central Nebraska, Southeastern Dawson County in South Central Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Severe thunderstorm warning for Central Campbell County in northeastern Wyoming. Including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, 
Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for North Central Lincoln County. At 9.31 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 11 miles north of North Platte, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact damage to vehicles is expected. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of north-central Lincoln County. This includes Highway 97 between mile markers 1 and 12. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for North Central Lincoln County. At 9.31 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 11 miles north of North Platte, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact damage to vehicles is expected. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of north-central Lincoln County. This includes Highway 97 between mile markers 1 and 12. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. 
Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. The severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Lincoln County will expire at 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and no longer poses an immediate threat to life or property. Therefore, the warning will be allowed to expire. However, gusty winds and heavy rain are still possible with this thunderstorm. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight mountain daylight time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. central daylight time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds. Severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Decatur County in northwestern Kansas. Severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Sheridan County in north central Wyoming. Sources for the latest severe weather information. The severe thunderstorm warning for North severe thunderstorm warning for New severe thunderstorm warning. National Weather Service in Goodland has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Decatur County in northwestern Kansas until 10:15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9:43 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located six miles south of Oberlin, moving south at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, 70 mile per hour wind gusts and ping pong ball size. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Decatur County in northwestern Kansas until 10.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And another one. The National Weather Service in Billings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Sheridan County in north central Wyoming until 9.30 p.m. Oh, Mountain Daylight Time. At 8.42 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 18 miles west of Spotted Horse or 32 miles northeast of Buffalo, moving southeast at 25 miles per hour. Hazards include ping pong ball size hail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Repeating, National Weather Service in Billing says it's just a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Sheridan County in north central Wyoming until 9.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Lincoln County will expire at 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and no longer poses an immediate threat to life or property. Therefore, the warning will be allowed to expire. However, gusty winds and heavy rain are still possible with this thunderstorm. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. 
Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Lincoln County will expire at 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Lincoln County will expire at 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and no longer poses an immediate threat to life or property. Therefore, the warning will be allowed to expire. However, gusty winds and heavy rain are still possible with this thunderstorm. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXL 68, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.55 MHz. This service is provided by the National Weather Service in North Platte, transmitting through power facilities in Sutherland, Nebraska. This service is provided by the Nebraska Educational Telecommunication Commission, serving southwest and west central Nebraska. The North Platte Climate Summary for this evening, as of 5 p.m., June 4, 2022. Today's high temperature was 89 degrees and a low 52 degrees. No precipitation fell today, which leaves the monthly total at 0.01 inches. The total precipitation for the season since June 1st still stands at 0.01 inches and the total precipitation for the year is still 569 inches. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 81 degrees and the normal low is 52. The record high for tomorrow is 97 which last occurred in 1933 and the record low is 36 which occurred in 1998. Sunset tonight is at 9.11 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.11 a.m. The current time is 9.51 p.m. Central Daylight Time.
the Imperial Climate Summary for this evening, as of 5 p.m., June 4, 2022. Today's high temperature was 85 degrees and a low 50 degrees. No precipitation fell today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 82 Tornado degrees. warning for Northeastern Sheridan County in northwestern Kansas. Tomorrow is 101, which occurred in 2018, and the record low is 39, which occurred in 1998. Sunset tonight is at 8.13 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 5.17 a.m. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska. The following counties. We have a new tornado warning. The National Weather Service in Goodland has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Sheridan County and northwestern Kansas until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.52, severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 6 miles south of Dresden or 12 miles north of Hoxie, moving southeast at 10 miles an hour. Hazards include tornado and ping, ball, yeah, ping pong ball hail. National Service in Goodland has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Sheridan County in northwestern Kansas until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 71, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity 63%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.73 inches and in rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 74. At Ogallala, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 71, the dew point 49, and the relative humidity 45%. Winds were from the northwest at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.73 inches and in falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 74. At Chandron, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. In Sydney, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 70. At Valentine, it was clear, with a temperature of 69. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 75. In the Cook, thunder was reported, with a temperature of 66. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 66. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 67. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 76. At Norfolk, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 73. At Omaha, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 72. 
around the region at Wichita. It was partly cloudy with a temperature of 75. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 67. At Cheyenne, it was cloudy with a temperature of 67. In Rapid City, it was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 62. At Pier, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 65. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 65. Once again, at 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, the temperature was 71. The official National Weather Service forecast for Southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast after midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Severe thunderstorm watch 308 in effect until 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. Tonight, southwest winds 10 to 16 miles per hour becoming southeast 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy in the evening then becoming partly cloudy. Severe thunderstorm warning for Central Platte County in northeastern Nebraska. Severe with damaging winds and large hail. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 55. Water is a moderate chop becoming a light water after midnight. A new severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for central Platte County in northeastern Nebraska until 10.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 10.01 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Monroe, or 13 miles west of Columbus, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, half dollar size hail. Repeating. Severe thunderstorm warning for Central Platte County in northeastern Nebraska until 10.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. 
Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Severe thunderstorm watch 308 in effect until 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday, tonight. Southwest winds 10 to 16 miles per hour becoming southeast 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy in the evening then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 55. Water is a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday. East wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 remains in effect until midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 AM Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The following is a special weather statement for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of northeastern Lincoln County through 10.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm 11 miles north of North Platte Airport, or 12 miles northeast of North Platte, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 30 miles per hour and nickel-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. This storm will remain over mainly rural areas of northeastern Lincoln County. This includes Highway 83 between mile markers 92 and 101. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. 
And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 71, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity 63%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.73 inches in rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 74. At Ogallala, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 71, the dew point 49, and the relative humidity 45%. Winds were from the northwest at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.73 inches and in falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 74. At Chandron, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. In Sydney, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 70. At Valentine, it was clear, with a temperature of 69. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 75. In the Cook, thunder was reported, with a temperature of 66. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 66. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 67. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 76. At Norfolk, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 73. At Omaha, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 72. Around the region, at Wichita, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 75. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Cheyenne, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. In Rapid City, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Tier, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. Once again, at 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, the temperature was 71. The official National Weather Service forecast for Southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast after midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%.
Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Severe thunderstorm watch 308 in effect until 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. Tonight, southwest winds 10 to 16 miles per hour becoming southeast 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy in the evening then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 55. Waters a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14. Severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern York County in east central Nebraska, south central Polk County in east central Nebraska. Highs around 79. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Waters a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 75. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties. Okay, we have a new severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern New York and southern south central Polk counties in east central Nebraska until 11 p.m. central daylight time. At 10.14 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over... Bromsburg, or 14 miles north of York, moving south at 10 miles per hour. Hazard, quarter size hail. Repeat, the National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern New York and south central Polk counties in east central Nebraska until 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Midnight Mountain Daylight Time Sunday, or 0100 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska Chase, Hayes, Keith, and Perkins. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The following is a special weather statement for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska.
A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of northeastern Lincoln County through 10.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm 11 miles north of North Platte Airport, or 12 miles northeast of North Platte, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 30 miles per hour and nickel-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. This storm will remain over mainly rural areas of northeastern Lincoln County. This includes Highway 83 between mile markers 92 and 101. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70, the dew point 60, and the relative humidity 70%. Winds were from the west at 12 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69, the dew point 49, and the relative humidity 50%. Winds were from the east at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At Valentine, it was clear, with a temperature of 66. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 67. In the Cook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 66. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 65. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 75. At Norfolk, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 69. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. At Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 70. Around the region, at Wichita, it, severe thunderstorm watch number 308 has been canceled for the following counties, in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 has been canceled for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. Here are the 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70, the dew point 60, and the relative humidity 70%. Winds were from the west at 12 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69, the dew point 49, and the relative humidity 50%. Winds were from the east at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. 
at Chandran, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At Valentine, it was clear, with a temperature of 66. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 67. In the Cook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 66. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 65. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 75. At Norfolk, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 69. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. At Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 70. Around the region, at Wichita, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 74. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 66. At Cheyenne, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Rapid City, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Tyr, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Once again, at 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 70. At Ogallala, the temperature was 69. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast after midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Severe thunderstorm watch 308 in effect until 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday. Tonight, southwest winds 10 to 16 miles per hour becoming southeast 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy in the evening then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. The chance of precipitation 30%. 
Lows around 55. Waters a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around a 79. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around a 75. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXL 68, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.55 MHz. This service is provided by the National Weather Service in North Platte, transmitting through tower facilities in Sutherland, Nebraska. This service is provided by the Nebraska Educational Telecommunication Commission, serving southwest and west central Nebraska. The current time is 10.28 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorm watch number 308 has been canceled for the following counties in Nebraska, Chase, Hayes, Keith and Perkins. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 has been canceled for the following county, Frontier, Nebraska. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The following is a special weather statement for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of northeastern Lincoln County through 10.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm 11 miles north of North Platte Airport, or 12 miles northeast of North Platte, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 30 miles per hour and nickel-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. This storm will remain over mainly rural areas of northeastern Lincoln County. This includes Highway 83 between mile markers 92 and 101. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near-daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. 
Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement. Spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70, the dew point 60, and the relative humidity 70%. Winds were from the west at 12 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69, the dew point 49, and the relative humidity 50%. Winds were from the east at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At Valentine, it was clear, with a temperature of 66. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 67. In the Cook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 66. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 65. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 75. At Norfolk, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 69. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. At Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 70. Around the region, at Wichita, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 74. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 66. At Cheyenne, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Rapid City, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Pier, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Once again, at 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 70. At Ogallala, the temperature was 69. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast after midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with... Severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Hamilton County in south-central Nebraska, central Merrick County in central Nebraska. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. We have a new severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Hamilton County in south-central Nebraska and central Merritt County in central Nebraska until 11.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time.
At 10.35 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Central City or 22 miles northeast of Grand Island, moving south at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, ping pong ball size hail and 60 mile per hour winds. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Hamilton County in south central Nebraska and central Merrick County in central Nebraska until 11.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 16 miles per hour, decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 55. Water is a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around a 79. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around a 75. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. The following is a special weather statement for the following county, Lincoln, Nebraska. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of northeastern Lincoln County through 10.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm 11 miles north of North Platte Airport, or 12 miles northeast of North Platte, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include winds in excess of 30 miles per hour and nickel-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. This storm will remain over mainly rural areas of northeastern Lincoln County. This includes Highway 83 between mile markers 92 and 101. If outdoors, consider seeking shelter inside a building. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight central daylight time for southwestern Nebraska. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. 
Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement. Spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70, the dew point 60, and the relative humidity 70%. Winds were from the west at 12 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69, the dew point 49, and the relative humidity 50%. Winds were from the east at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At Valentine, it was clear, with a temperature of 66. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 67. In the Cook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 66. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 65. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 75. At Norfolk, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 69. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. At Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 70. Around the region, at Wichita, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 74. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 66. At Cheyenne, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Rapid City, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Pier, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Once again, at 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 70. At Ogallala, the temperature was 69. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast after midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. 
Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 16 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy in the evening then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 55. Water is a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70, the dew point 60, and the relative humidity 70%. Winds were from the west at 12 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69, the dew point 49, and the relative humidity 50%. Winds were from the east at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. Severe thunderstorm warning for Southern Gove County in west central Kansas. 
At Valentine, it was clear, with a temperature of 66. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 67. In the Cook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 66. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 65. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 75. At Norfolk, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 69. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. At Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 70. Around the region, at Wichita, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 74. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 60. Okay, we have a new severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Goodland, Texas, Goodland, Kansas, has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southern cloudy. Gove County in West Central Kansas until 11.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 10.51 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles west of Gove, moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. Hazards included ping pong ball size hail. Repeating, National Weather Service in Goodland has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Southern Grove County in West Central Kansas until 11.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast after midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain, showers, and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 16 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy in the evening then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 55. Waters a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. 
Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Waters a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70, the dew point 60, and the relative humidity 70%. Winds were from the west at 12 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69, the dew point 49, and the relative humidity 50%. Winds were from the east at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At Valentine, it was clear, with a temperature of 66. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 67. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 66. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 65. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 75. At Norfolk, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 69. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. At Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 70. Around the region, at Wichita, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 74. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 66. At Cheyenne, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. 
In Rapid City, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Pier, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Once again, at 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 70. At Ogallala, the temperature was 69. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast after midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 16 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy in the evening then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 55. Water is a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around a 79. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around a 75. 
Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect. Until Severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Clay County in south central Nebraska, southeastern Hamilton County in south central Nebraska. Means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70, the dew point 60, and the relative humidity 70%. Winds were from the west at 12 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 69, the dew point 49, and the relative humidity 50%. Winds were from the east at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At Valentine, it was clear, with a temperature of 66. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 67. In the Cook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 66. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 65. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 75. At Norfolk, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 69. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. At Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 70. Around the region, at Wichita, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 74. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 66. At Cheyenne, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Rapid City, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Pier, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Once again, at 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 70. At Ogallala, the temperature was 69. Here are the 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 69, the dew point 59, and the relative humidity 70%. Winds were from the southeast at 12 miles an hour, gusting to 22. The pressure was 29.75 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 66, the dew point 52, and the relative humidity 61%. Winds were from the east at 8 miles an hour. 
the pressure was 29.77 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. At Norfolk, heavy rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 66. In Lincoln, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 69. Around the region, at Wichita, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. In Rapid City, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Pier, it was clear, with a temperature of 58. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. Once again, at 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 69. At Ogallala, the temperature was 66. The official National Weather Service forecast for Southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast after midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 16 miles per hour decreasing to 14 Severe thunderstorm warning for Western York County in east central Nebraska. Becoming partly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening.
Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 55. Water is a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 14 miles per hour after midnight. New th severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Western York County in east central Nebraska until midnight central daylight time. At 11.16 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over York, moving south. At 15 miles per hour, hazard, half dollar size hail. Repeating, the National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Western York County in East Central Nebraska until midnight central. The chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 69, the dew point 59, and the relative humidity 70%. Winds were from the southeast at 12 miles an hour, gusting to 22. The pressure was 29.75 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 66, the dew point 52, and the relative humidity 61%. Winds were from the east at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.77 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. At Norfolk, heavy rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 66. In Lincoln, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 67. 
at Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 69. Around the region, at Wichita, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. In Rapid City, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Tier, it was clear, with a temperature of 58. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. Once again, at 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 69. At Ogallala, the temperature was 66. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXL 68, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.55 MHz. This service is provided by the National Weather Service in North Platte, transmitting through tower facilities in Sutherland, Nebraska. This service is provided by the Nebraska Educational Telecommunication Commission, serving southwest and west central Nebraska. The current time is 11.22 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast after midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 16 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy in the evening then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 55. Water is a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%.
highs around a 79. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Waters a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around a 75. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along the east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large... Severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Gove County in west central Kansas. ...in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement. Spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 69, the dew point 59, and the relative humidity 70%. New severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Goodland has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Gove County in west central Kansas until 12.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 11.28 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 13 miles west of Cove, <coughs> excuse me, moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, ping pong ball size hail. Repeat, the National Weather Service in Goodland has issued severe storm tongue-tied, severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Gove County in west central Kansas until 12.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. At Norfolk, heavy rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 66. In Lincoln, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 69. Around the region, at Wichita, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. In Rapid City, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Pier, it was clear, with a temperature of 58. 
In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. Once again, at 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 69. At Ogallala, the temperature was 66. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast after midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 16 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy in the evening then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 55. Waters a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 75. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. 
severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 69, the dew point 59, and the relative humidity 70%. Winds were from the southeast at 12 miles an hour, gusting to 22. The pressure was 29.75 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 66, the dew point 52, and the relative humidity 61%. Winds were from the east at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.77 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. At Norfolk, heavy rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 66. In Lincoln, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 69. Around the region, at Wichita, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. In Rapid City, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Tier, it was clear, with a temperature of 58. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. Once again, at 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 69. At Ogallala, the temperature was 66. The official National Weather Service forecast for Southwest Nebraska Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast after midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. 
Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, Severe thunderstorm warning for Eastern Buffalo County in South Central Nebraska, Southwestern Hall County in South Central Nebraska. And chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid 70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain. We have a new severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Buffalo County and southwestern Hall County in south central Nebraska until 12.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 11.42 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 9 miles southwest of Cairo or 19 miles southwest of Grand Island, moving southeast at 15 miles per hour. Hazard, half dollar size hail. Repeating, severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Buffalo County and south central Nebraska, southwestern Hall County and south central Nebraska, until 12.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Southeast winds 10 to 16 miles per hour, decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 55. Water is a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 75. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until midnight central daylight time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds. Severe thunderstorm warning for Northeastern Clay County in South Central Nebraska, Southeastern Hamilton County in South Central Nebraska. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north-central and western Nebraska. 
Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along the a new severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Clay County and southeastern Hamilton counties in south central Nebraska until 12:30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 11:45 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Aurora or 20 miles west of York, moving south at 10 miles an hour. Hazard: ping pong ball-sized hail. Repeating, the National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Clay and southeastern Hamilton counties in south central Nebraska until 12:30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. The pressure was 29.75 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 66, the dew point 52, and the relative humidity 61%. Winds were from the east at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.77 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. At Norfolk, heavy rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 66. In Lincoln, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 69. Around the region, at Wichita, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 6. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Here are the 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 69, the dew point 59, and the relative humidity 70%. Winds were from the southeast at 12 miles an hour, gusting to 22. The pressure was 29.75 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 66, the dew point 52, and the relative humidity 61%. Winds were from the east at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.77 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. At Norfolk, 
heavy rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 66. In Lincoln, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 69. Around the region, at Wichita, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. In Rapid City, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Tier, it was clear, with a temperature of 58. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. Once again, at 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 69. At Ogallala, the temperature was 66. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast after midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 16 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy in the evening then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 55. Waters a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. 
the chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. The current time is 11.56 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 69, the dew point 59, and the relative humidity 70%. Winds were from the southeast at 12 miles an hour, gusting to 22. The pressure was 29.75 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 66, the dew point 52, and the relative humidity 61%. Winds were from the east at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.77 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. At Norfolk, heavy rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 66. In Lincoln, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 69. Around the region, at Wichita, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. In Rapid City, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Tier, it was clear, with a temperature of 58. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. Once again, at 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 69. At Ogallala, the temperature was 66.
The official national weather service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast after midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid 70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Tonight, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Monday night, southeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to 6 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. Showers likely in the evening. A chance of thunderstorms. The chance of precipitation 60%. Lows around 56. Waters a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. Tuesday, northwest wind 6 to 10 miles per hour shifting to the northeast around 10 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms. The chance of precipitation 40%. Highs around 73. Waters a light chop. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. 
While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 69, the dew point 59, and the relative humidity 70%. Winds were from the southeast at 12 miles an hour, gusting to 22. The pressure was 29.75 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 71. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 66, the dew point 52, and the relative humidity 61%. Winds were from the east at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.77 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. At Imperial, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. At Norfolk, heavy rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 66. In Lincoln, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 69. Around the region, at Wichita, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. In Rapid City, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Pier, it was clear, with a temperature of 58. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. Once again, at 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 69. At Ogallala, the temperature was 66. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe with damaging winds and large hail. Lows in the mid-50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast after midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. North 
northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Tonight, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Monday night, southeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to 6 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. Showers likely in the evening. A chance of thunderstorms. The chance of precipitation 60%. Lows around 56. Waters a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. Tuesday, northwest wind 6 to 10 miles per hour shifting to the northeast around 10 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms. The chance of precipitation 40%. Highs around 73. Waters a light chop. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible late this afternoon and evening across portions of north-central and western Nebraska. Some storms may be strong to severe with the greatest threat for severe storms generally south of Highway 2. Large hail and gusty winds are the main severe threats along with localized heavy rainfall and now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. 
Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the midnight central daylight time observations. At the North Flood Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity 83%. Winds were from the east at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 67. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 75%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.80 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Sydney, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 62. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At O'Neill, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 69. At Norfolk, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 66. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. At Cheyenne, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Rapid City, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Tier, it was clear, with a temperature of 56. In Sioux Falls, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. Once again, at midnight central daylight time, North Platte reported a temperature of 63. At Ogallala, the temperature was 63. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid 50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. 
chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Tonight, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Waters a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 75. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Monday night, southeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to 6 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. Showers likely in the evening. A chance of thunderstorms. The chance of precipitation 60%. Lows around 56. Waters a moderate chop becoming a light chop after midnight. Tuesday, northwest wind 6 to 10 miles per hour shifting to the northeast around 10 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms. The chance of precipitation 40%. Highs around 73. Waters a light chop. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXL 58, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.55 MHz. This service is provided by the National Weather Service in North Platte, transmitting through tower facilities in Sutherland, Nebraska. This service is provided by the Nebraska Educational Telecommunication Commission, serving southwest and west central Nebraska. The current time is 12.23 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the midnight central daylight time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity 83%. Winds were from the east at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 67. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 75%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. 
the pressure was 29.80 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Sydney, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 62. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At O'Neill, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 69. At Norfolk, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 66. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. At Cheyenne, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Rapid City, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Pier, it was clear, with a temperature of 56. In Sioux Falls, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. Once again, at midnight Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 63. At Ogallala, the temperature was 63. The official National Weather Service forecast for Southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy after midnight then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. 
a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Severe thunderstorm warning for Lincoln County in central Kansas, northern Ellsworth County in central Kansas, northeastern Russell County in central Kansas. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the midnight central daylight time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity 83%. Winds were from the east at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 67. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 75%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.80 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Sydney, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 62. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At O'Neill, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 69. At Norfolk, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 66. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. At Cheyenne, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Rapid City, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Tier, it was clear, with a temperature of 56. 
In Sioux Falls, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. Once again, at midnight Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 63. At Ogallala, the temperature was 63. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Severe thunderstorm warning for western Rice County in central Kansas, southwestern Ellsworth County in central Kansas, southern Russell County in central Kansas, Barton County in central Kansas. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy after midnight then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 75. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. 
While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the midnight central daylight time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity 83%. Winds were from the east at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 67. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 75%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.80 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Sydney, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 62. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At O'Neill, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 69. At Norfolk, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 66. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. At Cheyenne, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Rapid City, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Pier, it was clear, with a temperature of 56. In Sioux Falls, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. Once again, at midnight Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 63. At Ogallala, the temperature was 63. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid 50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%.
Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy after midnight then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Waters a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the midnight central daylight time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity 83%.
Winds were from the east at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 67. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 75%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.80 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Sydney, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 62. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At O'Neill, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, a thunderstorm Severe thunderstorm warning for Eastern Pawnee County in South Central Kansas, Stafford County in South Central Kansas, Southeastern Rush County in Central Kansas. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. At Cheyenne, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Rapid City, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Tier, it was clear, with a temperature of 56. In Sioux Falls, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. Once again, at midnight Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 63. At Ogallala, the temperature was 63. The current time is 12.52 a.m. Central Daylight Time. The official National Weather Service forecast for Southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. 
the forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy after midnight then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water's a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the midnight central daylight time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity 83%. Winds were from the east at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 67. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 75%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.80 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Sydney, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 62. In the Cook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At O'Neill, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 69. At Norfolk, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 66. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. 
around the region at Wichita. It was cloudy with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 63. At Cheyenne, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 62. In Rapid City, it was cloudy with a temperature of 56. At Pier, it was clear with a temperature of 56. In Sioux Falls, it was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 61. Once again, at midnight Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 63. At Ogallala, the temperature was 63. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rainy showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy after midnight then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. 
severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the midnight central daylight time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity 83%. Winds were from the east at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 67. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 75%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.80 inches and rising. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Sydney, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Valentine, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 62. In McCook, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At O'Neill, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Grand Island, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 69. At Norfolk, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 66. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. At Cheyenne, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Rapid City, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Tier, it was clear, with a temperature of 56. In Sioux Falls, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. Once again, at midnight Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 63. At Ogallala, the temperature was 63. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. 
Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy after midnight then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 75. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. 
Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 83%. The pressure was 29.76 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 64. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 88%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In the Cook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 61. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Norfolk, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Rapid City, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 58. At Tier, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 57. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. Once again, at 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 60. At Ogallala, the temperature was 60. The official National Weather Service forecast for Southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. 
Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy after midnight then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 75. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXL 58, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.55 MHz. This service is provided by the National Weather Service in North Platte, transmitting through tower facilities in Sutherland, Nebraska. This service is provided by the Nebraska Educational Telecommunication Commission, serving southwest and west central Nebraska. The current time is 1.22 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement. Severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern McPherson County in central Kansas, eastern Ellsworth County in central Kansas, southwestern Saline County in central Kansas. And the relative humidity 83%. The pressure was 29.76 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 64. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 88%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. 
In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In McCook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 61. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Norfolk, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Rapid City, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 58. At Pier, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 57. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. Once again, at 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 60. At Ogallala, the temperature was 60. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy after midnight then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon.
Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 75. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 83%. The pressure was 29.76 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 64. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 88%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In McCook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 61. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Norfolk, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Rapid City, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 58. At Pier, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 57. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. Once again, at 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 60. At Ogallala, the temperature was 60. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. 
southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy after midnight then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east winds 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson.
Wilson and Perkins for tonight. Thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 83%. The pressure was 29.76 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 64. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 88%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In the Cook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 61. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Norfolk, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Rapid City, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 58. At Tier, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 57. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. Once again, at 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 60. At Ogallala, the temperature was 60. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday.
Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy after midnight then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Waters a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 75. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 83%. The pressure was 29.76 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 64. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 88%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. 
In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In the Cook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 61. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Norfolk, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Rapid City, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 58. At Pier, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 57. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. Once again, at 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 60. At Ogallala, the temperature was 60. The current time is 1.51 a.m. Central Daylight Time. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy after midnight then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. 
Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday for the following counties, in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 83%. The pressure was 29.76 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 64. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 88%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In McCook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Bro severe thunderstorm watch number 307 remains in effect until 0200 a.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties, in Nebraska, Lincoln and Logan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Here are the 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 83%. The pressure was 29.76 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 64. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 88%. 
Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In McCook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 61. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Norfolk, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Rapid City, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 58. At Pier, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 57. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. Once again, at 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 60. At Ogallala, the temperature was 60. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy after midnight then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. 
a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Waters a light choppy coming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Waters a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 83%. The pressure was 29.76 inches and falling. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 64. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 88%. Winds were from the east at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.79 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Imperial, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In McCook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 61. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 68. At Norfolk, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 72. In Denver, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Rapid City, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 58. At Pier, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 57. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. Once again, at 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 60. At Ogallala, the temperature was 60. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. 
Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy after midnight then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Waters a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 75. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the two a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57, the dew point 54, and the relative humidity 89%. Winds were from the southeast at 5 miles an hour. 
the pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 61. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 58, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 93%. The pressure was 29.79 inches and steady. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Sydney, it was clear, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Imperial, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. In McCook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Norfolk, fog was reported, with a temperature of 63. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In Rapid City, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 57. At Tier, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. Once again, at 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 57. At Ogallala, the temperature was 58. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Most
mostly cloudy after midnight, then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXL68, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.55 MHz. This service is provided by the National Weather Service in North Platte, transmitting through tower facilities in Sutherland, Nebraska. This service is provided by the Nebraska Educational Telecommunication Commission, serving southwest and west central Nebraska. The current time is 2.21 a.m. Central Daylight Time. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57, the dew point 54, and the relative humidity 89%. Winds were from the southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 61. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 58, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 93%. The pressure was 29.79 inches and steady. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Sydney, it was clear, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Imperial, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. In McCook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Norfolk, fog was reported, with a temperature of 63. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In Rapid City, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 57. At Tier, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. 
In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. Once again, at 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 57. At Ogallala, the temperature was 58. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 8 to 10 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy after midnight then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, south winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, northeast winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to around 6 miles per hour after midnight. Mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water's a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, east wind 6 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 75. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 4 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday. Southeast wind 6 to 10 miles per hour shifting to the west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly cloudy in the morning then becoming mostly sunny. 
a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 82. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, north winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 6 miles per hour after midnight. Partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, north winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to east 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57, the dew point 54, and the relative humidity 89%. Winds were from the southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 61. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 58, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 93%. The pressure was 29.79 inches and steady. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Sydney, it was clear, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Imperial, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. In McCook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Norfolk, fog was reported, with a temperature of 63. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In Rapid City, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 57. At Pier, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. Once again, at 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 57. At Ogallala, the temperature was 58. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. 
Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 4 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, southeast winds 6 to 10 miles per hour shifting to the west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly cloudy in the morning then becoming mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 82. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, north winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 6 miles per hour after midnight. Partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, north winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to east 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed.
Here are the two a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57, the dew point 54, and the relative humidity 89%. Winds were from the southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 61. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 58, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 93%. The pressure was 29.79 inches and steady. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Sydney, it was clear, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Imperial, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. In McCook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Norfolk, fog was reported, with a temperature of 63. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In Rapid City, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 57. At Pier, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. Once again, at 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 57. At Ogallala, the temperature was 58. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. 
highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 4 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, southeast winds 6 to 10 miles per hour shifting to the west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly cloudy in the morning then becoming mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 82. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, north winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 6 miles per hour after midnight. Partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, north winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to east 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57, the dew point 54, and the relative humidity 89%. Winds were from the southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 61. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 58, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 93%. The pressure was 29.79 inches and steady. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Sydney, it was clear, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Imperial, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. In the Cook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Norfolk, fog was reported, with a temperature of 63. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In Rapid City, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 57. At Tier, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. Once again, at 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 57. At Ogallala, the temperature was 58. The official National Weather Service forecast for Southwest Nebraska. Rest
chance that tonight, partly cloudy, lows in the mid-50s, southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday. Severe thunderstorm warning for Southern Reno County in South Central Kansas, Kingman County in South Central Kansas. Mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The current time is 2.52 a.m. Central Daylight Time. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 4 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, southeast winds 6 to 10 miles per hour shifting to the west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 82. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, north winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 6 miles per hour after midnight. Partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Waters a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, north winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to east 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around to 79. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Heath, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near 
daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57, the dew point 54, and the relative humidity 89%. Winds were from the southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 61. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 58, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 93%. The pressure was 29.79 inches and steady. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Sydney, it was clear, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Imperial, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. In McCook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Norfolk, fog was reported, with a temperature of 63. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In Rapid City, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 57. At Tier, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. Once again, at 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 57. At Ogallala, the temperature was 58. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. 
lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 4 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, southeast winds 6 to 10 miles per hour shifting to the west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly cloudy in the morning then becoming mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 82. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, north winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 6 miles per hour after midnight. Partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Waters a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, north winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to east 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around a 79. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57, the dew point 54, and the relative humidity 89%. Winds were from the southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 61. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 58, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 93%. The pressure was 29.79 inches and steady. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Sydney, it was clear, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Imperial, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. In McCook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At North Fork, fog was reported, with a temperature of 63. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In Rapid City, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 57. At Pier, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. 
In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. Once again, at 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 57. At Ogallala, the temperature was 58. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 4 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, southeast winds 6 to 10 miles per hour shifting to the west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly cloudy in the morning then becoming mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 82. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, north winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 6 miles per hour after midnight. Partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, north winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to east 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. 
Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Flood Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57, the dew point 54, and the relative humidity 89%. Winds were from the southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and rising. Downtown North Flood reported a temperature of 61. At Ogallala, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 58, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 93%. The pressure was 29.79 inches and steady. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At Chandron, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 65. In Sydney, it was clear, with a temperature of 57. At Valentine, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At Imperial, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. In the Cook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 63. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 64. At O'Neill, it was clear, with a temperature of 60. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Norfolk, fog was reported, with a temperature of 63. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 71. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56. At Cheyenne, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In Reddity, rain and fog were reported, with a temperature of 57. At Tyr, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In Sioux Falls, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 57. Once again, at 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 57. At Ogallala, the temperature was 58. Here are the 3 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 58, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 90%. Winds were from the southeast at 6 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.80 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 62. At Ogallala, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 97%. The pressure was 29.78 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Chandron, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 50. At Valentine, fog was reported, with a temperature of 61. At Imperial, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In the Cook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At O'Neill, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Norfolk, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 66. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Cheyenne, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 60. In Rapid City, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 57. At Tyr, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 55. In Sioux Falls, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. 
Once again, at 3 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 58. At Ogallala, the temperature was 56. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 4 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Waters a light chop. Sunday, southeast winds 6 to 10 miles per hour shifting to the west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly cloudy in the morning then becoming mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 82. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, north winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 6 miles per hour after midnight. Partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, north winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to east 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. 
On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 3 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 58, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 90%. Winds were from the southeast at 6 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.80 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 62. At Ogallala, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 97%. The pressure was 29.78 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Chandron, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 50. At Valentine, fog was reported, with a temperature of 61. At Imperial, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In McCook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At O'Neill, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Norfolk, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 66. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Cheyenne, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 60. In Rapid City, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 57. At Pier, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 55. In Sioux Falls, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. Once again, at 3 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 58. At Ogallala, the temperature was 56. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXL 68, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.55 MHz. This service is provided by the National Weather Service in North Platte, transmitting through tower facilities in Sutherland, Nebraska. This service is provided by the Nebraska Educational Telecommunication Commission, serving southwest and west central Nebraska. The current time is 3.22 a.m. Central Daylight Time. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 
Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 4 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, southeast winds 6 to 10 miles per hour shifting to the west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly cloudy in the morning then becoming mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 82. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, north winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 6 miles per hour after midnight. Partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water's a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, north winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to east 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson, and Perkins. For tonight, thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 3 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 58, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 90%. Winds were from the southeast at 6 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.80 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 62. At Ogallala, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 97%. The pressure was 29.78 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Chandron, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 50. At Valentine, fog was reported, with a temperature of 61. At Imperial, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In McCook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At O'Neill, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. 
at Norfolk, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 66. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. At Cheyenne, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 60. In Rapid City, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 57. At Tier, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 55. In Sioux Falls, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. Once again, at 3 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 58. At Ogallala, the temperature was 56. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 4 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, southeast winds 6 to 10 miles per hour shifting to the west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly cloudy in the morning then becoming mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 82. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, north winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 6 miles per hour after midnight. Partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, north winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to east 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. 
reduced the chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around a 79. Water's a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. The North Flood Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 89 degrees and a low 52 degrees. A trace of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.01 inches. This is 0.54 inches below the normal amount of 0.55 inches for June. The total precipitation for the season since June 1st now stands at 0.01 inches, which is 0.54 inches below normal. The total precipitation for the year is now 569 inches, which is 2.46 inches below normal. No snow fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.0 inches. The total snowfall since July 1st still stands at 23.8 inches. There were no heating degree days yesterday and there were six cooling degree days yesterday. The normal high temperature for today is 81 degrees and the normal low is 52. The record high for today is 97 which last occurred in 1933 and the record low is 36 which occurred in 1998. Sunrise today is at 6.11 a.m. and sunset is at 9.12 p.m. The Imperial Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 85 degrees and a low 50 degrees. No precipitation fell yesterday. There were no heating degree days yesterday and there were three cooling degree days yesterday. The normal high temperature for today is 82 degrees and the normal low is 54. The record high for today is 101 which occurred in 2018 and the record low is 39 which occurred in 1998. Sunrise today is at 5.17 a.m. and sunset is at 8.14 p.m. And now the hazardous weather outlook for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur, Chase, Frontier, Hayes, Keith, Lincoln, Logan, McPherson and Perkins. For tonight. Thunderstorms are possible overnight, mainly over northern into central Nebraska. The threat for severe storms overnight is low. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Thunderstorm chances continue on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, there is slight risk for severe thunderstorms mainly along and east of Highway 83. Some storms may be strong to severe with the main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. Near daily thunderstorm chances continue through Friday in the afternoon and evening. Exact timing and location still remains uncertain as well as severe potential. Spotter information statement, spotter activation may be needed. Here are the 3 a.m. Central Daylight Time observations. At the North Platte Regional Airport, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 58, the dew point 55, and the relative humidity 90%. Winds were from the southeast at 6 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.80 inches and rising. Downtown North Platte reported a temperature of 62. At Ogallala, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 56, the dew point 56, and the relative humidity 97%. The pressure was 29.78 inches and falling. Across Nebraska, in Scotts Bluff, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. At Chandron, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Sydney, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 50. At Valentine, fog was reported, with a temperature of 61. At Imperial, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. In McCook, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Broken Bow, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. At O'Neill, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. In Grand Island, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 67. At Norfolk, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 62. In Lincoln, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 66. At Omaha, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 63. Around the region, at Wichita, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 70. In Denver, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 58. 
at Cheyenne, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 60. In Rapid City, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 57. At Tier, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 55. In Sioux Falls, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 59. Once again, at 3 a.m. Central Daylight Time, North Platte reported a temperature of 58. At Ogallala, the temperature was 56. The official National Weather Service forecast for southwest Nebraska. Rest of tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-50s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, mostly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely in the evening, then mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. Monday, mostly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Monday night, rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Tuesday, partly sunny with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then partly cloudy with chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of rain showers in the morning. Highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, partly sunny. Chance of rain showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then rain showers likely and chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. The forecast for Lake McConaughey. Overnight, southeast winds 4 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy. Lows around 55. Water's a light chop. Sunday, southeast winds 6 to 10 miles per hour shifting to the west 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly cloudy in the morning then becoming mostly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 82. Waters a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. Sunday night, north winds 8 to 14 miles per hour decreasing to 4 to 6 miles per hour after midnight. Partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. The chance of precipitation 30%. Lows around 56. Water is a moderate chop becoming smooth to a light chop after midnight. Monday, north winds 4 to 10 miles per hour increasing to east 8 to 14 miles per hour in the afternoon. Mostly sunny. A chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The chance of precipitation 30%. Highs around 79. Water is a light chop becoming a moderate chop in the afternoon. The North Plains.
four six inches below normal. No snow fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.0 inches. The total snowfall since July 1st still stands at 23.8 inches. There were no heating degree days yesterday and there were six cooling degree days yesterday. The normal high temperature for today is 81 degrees and the normal low is 52. The record high for today is 97 which last occurred in 1933 and the record low is 36 which occurred in 1998. Sunrise today is at 6.11 a.m. and sunset is at 9.12 p.m. The Imperial Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 85 degrees and the low 50 degrees. No precipitation fell yesterday. There were no heating degree days yesterday and there were three cooling degree days yesterday. The normal high temperature for today is 82 degrees and the normal low is 54. The record high for today is 101 which occurred in 2018 and the record low is 39 which occurred in 1998. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. The Rangeland Fire Danger Index will be in a low category this afternoon. Low fire danger means controlled burns can be executed with reasonable safety. Check with local authorities to ensure burning is allowed before starting a planned burn. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83 Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0 0.39 inches. This is 0 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. 
Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. This is Noah Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 3 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 57, and the relative humidity was 81%. The wind was southeast at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.80 inches and rising. At Manhattan, rain was falling. The temperature was 67 degrees, the dew point 63, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was southwest at 3 miles an hour. Around the region, at Springfield, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence, 66 at Kansas City, 67 at Emporia, and 66 at Concordia. Under cloudy skies, Beatrice reported 65, Omaha reported 63, and Wichita reported 70. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 67 degrees with rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday. Mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, Mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. The current time is 3.54 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83 Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. 
The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0 0.39 inches. This is 0 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. The Rangeland Fire Danger Index will be in a low category this afternoon. Low fire danger means controlled burns can be executed with reasonable safety. Check with local authorities to ensure burning is allowed before starting a planned burn. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 3 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees the dew point 57, and the relative humidity was 81%. The wind was southeast at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.80 inches and rising. At Manhattan, rain was falling. The temperature was 67 degrees, the dew point 63, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was southwest at 3 miles an hour. Around the region, at Springfield, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence, 66 at Kansas City, 67 at Emporia, and 66 at Concordia. Under cloudy skies, Beatrice reported 65, Omaha reported 63, and Wichita reported 70. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 67 degrees with rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Heat winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. 
Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.475 MHz, with transmitter facilities located in Topeka, Kansas. Thanks for listening. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.39 inches. This is 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 3 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 57, and the relative humidity was 81%. The wind was southeast at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.80 inches and rising. At Manhattan, rain was falling. The temperature was 67 degrees, the dew point 63, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was southwest at 3 miles an hour. Around the region, at Springfield, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence, 66 at Kansas City, 67 at Emporia, and 66 at Concordia. Under cloudy skies, Beatrice reported 65, Omaha reported 63, and Wichita reported 70. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 67 degrees with rain. 
Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. The Rangeland Fire Danger Index will be in a low category this afternoon. Low fire danger means controlled burns can be executed with reasonable safety. Check with local authorities to ensure burning is allowed before starting a planned burn. The current time is 4.08 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday... The probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 
0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.39 inches. This is 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 4 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity was 83%. The wind was southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and falling. At Manhattan, rain was falling. The temperature was 68 degrees, the dew point 64, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was variable at 5 miles an hour. Around the region, at Wichita, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 63. At Springfield, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence, 67 at Kansas City, and 67 at Emporia. Under cloudy skies, Concordia reported 67, Beatrice reported 64, and Omaha reported 64. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 68 degrees with rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday. Partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. 
spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas climate summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0 0.39 inches. This is 0 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. The Rangeland Fire Danger Index will be in a low category this afternoon. Low fire danger means controlled burns can be executed with reasonable safety. Check with local authorities to ensure burning is allowed before starting a planned burn. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 4 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity was 83%. The wind was southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and falling. At Manhattan, rain was falling. The temperature was 68 degrees, the dew point 64, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was variable at 5 miles an hour. Around the region, at Wichita, a thunderstorm was reported with a temperature of 63. At Springfield, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 61. It was cloudy with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence, 67 at Kansas City, and 67 at Emporia. Under cloudy skies, Concordia reported 67, Beatrice reported 64, and Omaha reported 64. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 68 degrees with rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, 
then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The current time is 4.23 a.m. Central Daylight Time. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.39 inches. This is 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 4 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity was 83%. The wind was southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and falling. At Manhattan, rain was falling. 
relative temperature was 68 degrees, the dew point 64, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was variable at 5 miles an hour. Around the region, at Wichita, a thunderstorm was reported with a temperature of 63. At Springfield, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 61. It was cloudy with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence, 67 at Kansas City, and 67 at Emporia. Under cloudy skies, Concordia reported 67, Beatrice reported 64, and Omaha reported 64. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 68 degrees with rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. The Rangeland Fire Danger Index will be in a low category this afternoon. Low fire danger means controlled burns can be executed with reasonable safety. Check with local authorities to ensure burning is allowed before starting a planned burn. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south.
The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m., and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. This is Noah Weather Radio Station WXK91, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.475 MHz, with transmitter facilities located in Topeka, Kansas. Thanks for listening. This is Noah Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 4 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees. The dew point 58, and the relative humidity was 83%. The wind was southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and falling. At Manhattan, rain was falling. The temperature was 68 degrees, the dew point 64, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was variable at 5 miles an hour. Around the region, at Wichita, a thunderstorm was reported, with a temperature of 63. At Springfield, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 61. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence, 67 at Kansas City, and 67 at Emporia. Under cloudy skies, Concordia reported 67, Beatrice reported 64, and Omaha reported 64. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 68 degrees with rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. 
the Topeka, Kansas climate summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0 0.39 inches. This is 0 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. The Rangeland Fire Danger Index will be in a low category this afternoon. Low fire danger means controlled burns can be executed with reasonable safety. Check with local authorities to ensure burning is allowed before starting a planned burn. This is NOAA Weather Radio WXK91 in Topeka. The current time is 4.38 a.m. Central Daylight Time. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 4 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity was 83%. The wind was southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and falling. At Manhattan, rain was falling. The temperature was 68 degrees, the dew point 64, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was variable at 5 miles an hour. Around the region, at Wichita, a thunderstorm was reported with a temperature of 63. At Springfield, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 61. It was cloudy with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence, 67 at Kansas City, and 67 at Emporia. Under cloudy skies, Concordia reported 67, Beatrice reported 64 and Omaha reported 64. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 68 degrees with rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, 
partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight. Thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0 0.39 inches. This is 0 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 4 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity was 83%. The wind was southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and falling. At Manhattan, rain was falling. The temperature was 68 degrees, the dew point 64, 
and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was variable at 5 miles an hour. Around the region, at Wichita, a thunderstorm was reported with a temperature of 63. At Springfield, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 61. It was cloudy with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence, 67 at Kansas City, and 67 at Emporia. Under cloudy skies, Concordia reported 67, Beatrice reported 64, and Omaha reported 64. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 68 degrees with rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. The Rangeland Fire Danger Index will be in a low category this afternoon. Low fire danger means controlled burns can be executed with reasonable safety. Check with local authorities to ensure burning is allowed before starting a planned burn. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83 Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62.
The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0 0.39 inches. This is 0 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 4 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity was 83%. The wind was southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and falling. At Manhattan, rain was falling. The temperature was 68 degrees, the dew point 64, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was variable at 5 miles an hour. Around the region, at Wichita, a thunderstorm was reported with a temperature of 63. At Springfield, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 61. It was cloudy with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence, 67 at Kansas City, and 67 at Emporia. Under cloudy skies, Concordia reported 67, Beatrice reported 64, and Omaha reported 64. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 68 degrees with rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under cloudy skies. The current time is 4.53 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Heat winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%.
Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Rangeland Fire Danger Index will be in a low category this afternoon. Low fire danger means controlled burns can be executed with reasonable safety. Check with local authorities to ensure burning is allowed before starting a planned burn. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.39 inches. This is 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 4 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 58, and the relative humidity was 83%. The wind was southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.78 inches and falling. At Manhattan, rain was falling. The temperature was 68 degrees, the dew point 64, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was variable at 5 miles an hour. Around the region, at Wichita, a thunderstorm was reported with a temperature of 63. At Springfield, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 61. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence, 67 at Kansas City, and 67 at Emporia. Under cloudy skies, Concordia reported 67, Beatrice reported 64, and Omaha reported 64. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 68 degrees with rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under cloudy skies. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.475 MHz, with transmitter facilities located in Topeka, Kansas. 
Thanks for listening. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, Thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.39 inches. This is 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0.75 inches below normal. 
Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North wind. <laughs> Severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Alfalfa County in northwestern Oklahoma, southwestern Grant County in northern Oklahoma. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast wind up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East wind up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. The Rangeland Fire Danger Index will be in a low category this afternoon. Low fire danger means controlled burns can be executed with reasonable safety. Check with local authorities to ensure burning is allowed before starting a planned burn. The current time is 5.08 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83 Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993.
sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.39 inches. This is 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 5 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was mostly cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 59, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was northeast at 6 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.77 inches and falling. At Manhattan, light rain was falling. The temperature was 65 degrees, the dew point 61, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was southwest at 15 miles an hour, gusting to 25. Around the region, rain was falling with a temperature of 66 at Emporia and 62 at Wichita. At Springfield, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 60. It was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence and 61 at Omaha. It was cloudy with a temperature of 66 at Kansas City, 65 at Concordia and 63 at Beatrice. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 65 degrees with light rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Heat winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. 
Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Rangeland Fire Danger Index will be in a low category this afternoon. Low fire danger means controlled burns can be executed with reasonable safety. Check with local authorities to ensure burning is allowed before starting a planned burn. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83 Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0 0.39 inches. This is 0 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 5 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was mostly cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 59, and the relative humidity was 87 percent. The wind was northeast at 6 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.77 inches and falling. At Manhattan, light rain was falling. The temperature was 65 degrees the dew point 61, and the relative humidity was 87 percent. The wind was southwest at 15 miles an hour, gusting to 25. Around the region, rain was falling with a temperature of 66 at Emporia and 62 at Wichita. At Springfield, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 60. It was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence and 61 at Omaha. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 66 at Kansas City, 65 at Concordia, and 63 at Beatrice. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 65 degrees with light rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, 
showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, Thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The current time is 5.24 a.m. Central Daylight Time. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0 0.39 inches. This is 0 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas.
here are the 5 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Tadika, it was mostly cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 59, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was northeast at 6 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.77 inches and falling. At Manhattan, light rain was falling. Severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Alfalfa County in northwestern Oklahoma, western Grant County in northern Oklahoma, northwestern Garfield County in northern Oklahoma. Rain was falling with a temperature of 66 at Emporia and 62 at Wichita. At Springfield, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 60. It was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence and 61 at Omaha. It was cloudy with a temperature of 66 at Kansas City, 65 at Concordia, and 63 at Beatrice. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 65 degrees with light rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy. Cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. The Rangeland Fire Danger Index will be in a low category this afternoon. Low fire danger means controlled burns can be executed with reasonable safety. Check with local authorities to ensure burning is allowed before starting a planned burn. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, Thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 
0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.475 MHz, with transmitter facilities located in Topeka, Kansas. Thanks for listening. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 5 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was mostly cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 59, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was northeast at 6 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.77 inches and falling. At Manhattan, light rain was falling. The temperature was 65 degrees the dew point 61, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was southwest at 15 miles an hour, gusting to 25. Around the region, rain was falling, with a temperature of 66 at Emporia and 62 at Wichita. At Springfield, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 60. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence and 61 at Omaha. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 66 at Kansas City, 65 at Concordia, and 63 at Beatrice. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 65 degrees with light rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s.
Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.39 inches. This is 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. The Rangeland Fire Danger Index will be in a low category this afternoon. Low fire danger means controlled burns can be executed with reasonable safety. Check with local authorities to ensure burning is allowed before starting a planned burn. This is NOAA Weather Radio WXK91 in Topeka. The current time is 5.38 a.m. Central Daylight Time. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 5 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was mostly cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 59, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was northeast at 6 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.77 inches and falling. At Manhattan, light rain was falling. The temperature was 65 degrees, the dew point 61, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was southwest at 15 miles an hour, gusting to 25. Around the region, rain was falling with a temperature of 66 at Emporia and 62 at Wichita. At Springfield, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 60. It was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence and 61 at Omaha. It was cloudy with a temperature of 66 at Kansas City, 65 at Concordia, and 63 at Beatrice. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 65 degrees with light rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. 
a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday, the probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.39 inches. This is 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. 
sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK91 in Topeka, Kansas. Here are the 5 a.m. conditions for the local area. At Topeka, it was mostly cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees, the dew point 59, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was northeast at 6 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.77 inches and in falling. At Manhattan, light rain was falling. The temperature was 65 degrees, the dew point 61, and the relative humidity was 87%. The wind was southwest at 15 miles an hour, gusting to 25. Around the region, rain was falling with a temperature of 66 at Emporia and 62 at Wichita. At Springfield, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of 60. It was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 61 at Lawrence and 61 at Omaha. It was cloudy with a temperature of 66 at Kansas City. 65 at Concordia, and 63 at Beatrice. Once again, at Manhattan, it was 65 degrees with light rain. Once again, at Topeka, it was 63 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Now here is your National Weather Service forecast. Early this morning, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Today, mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the middle 60s. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Chance of precipitation 80%. Monday, mostly sunny with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 80s. North winds up to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. Chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. East winds up to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Wednesday, Mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper 50s. Thursday, mostly sunny with slight chance of rain showers. Highs in the upper 70s. Thursday night, showers likely and chance of thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Friday, partly sunny with chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of precipitation 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. The Rangeland Fire Danger Index will be in a low category this afternoon. Low fire danger means controlled burns can be executed with reasonable safety. Check with local authorities to ensure burning is allowed before starting a planned burn. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are likely today and tonight. Severe storms are possible this evening into tonight. Damaging wind and heavy rainfall are the main threats this evening and tonight. For Monday through Saturday... The probability for widespread hazardous weather is low. Spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The Topeka, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 72 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. 
The normal low is 62. 0.17 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.26 inches. This is 0.45 inches below the normal amount of 0.71 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 17.91 inches, which is 3.77 inches above normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 16 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 21 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 83 degrees, and the normal low is 62. The record high for today is 102, which occurred in 1933, and the record low is 43, which occurred in 1993. Sunrise today is at 5.57 a.m. and sunset is at 8.45 p.m. The Manhattan, Kansas Climate Summary for yesterday, June 4, 2022. Yesterday's high temperature was 76 degrees. The normal high is 83. Yesterday's low temperature was 58 degrees. The normal low is 60. 0.10 inches of precipitation fell yesterday, which brings the monthly total to 0.39 inches. This is 0.30 inches below the normal amount of 0.69 inches for June. The total precipitation for the year now stands at 11.16 inches, which is 0.75 inches below normal. Yesterday, the maximum wind observed was 13 miles an hour from the southeast. The highest wind gust observed was 23 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for today is 84 degrees, and the normal low is 61. Sunrise today is at 6.01 a.m. and sunset is at 8.50 p.m. This is no weather.